Hey guys. Hello everybody, hello, hello, how are we doing tonight? Jessica, welcome back to another stream. Looking good with your Team Kaizen badge there. <laughs> Hope you're doing well today, Jess. Welcome into stream, welcome everybody else who is here. It's a Valheim stream, but, and a big but today. Uh, we have something new, something quite fun. So I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Um, but I got a new toy that arrived today. So I can do things with it. Like this did that work i think it did yeah oh what's that well, no i think we're good hello everybody um hello uh reds hello buffalo it's not an extra buffalo um it is a stream deck um uh, which looks a little something like this does that work oh wait i'm on the wrong source that's not gonna work if i go to my live screen would that work now it should be showing there it is so i can turn it on and off there <laughs> So this arrived today, and I am super excited about that um, because it is going to allow me to make my stream so much more interactive and much more fun for you guys. So let's have a bit of fun right away. Some of the things I can do with this. Oh, yeah. Feel the excitement. <laughs> so we got, we got a few different things that we can do with it. Now, I'm today, I'm just kind of testing stuff out. This is all still quite new to me. Uh, but it is, it's been fun. I've been messing around with it all day and there's been some pretty good stuff. 
Um, so yeah, random sounds are going to be a thing. I'm hoping to get some video interactions. The the way they promote this thing is that like you can do anything with it. If you can imagine it, there's a way of figuring it out, right? So nothing is off limits. So if you guys have suggestions for that, do let me know and I will see what I can do. Um, from my point of view, it makes a lot of things easier. I can do all my Twitch stuff, all my Streamlab stuff. I can switch scenes. So for example, I can now go onto my live scene with the press of a button, which means I can have all of my chat and everything like that on full screen at all times, which actually is really, really nice. Eventually, I can hook it up to lighting as well. And that's actually going to be good. Oh, I can replay my Spotify music as well. There we go. So now you should be hearing that again. Uh, although I want to turn it down a little bit. I always have it a little bit louder for the intro than when I'm chatting away. So let me know if that music is too loud right now or if we're good. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool. I do like it. Um, I like your emote, D. <laughs> That's a nice emote. Uh, Mephistorius followed me a few minutes ago. Uh, if you are still in the stream, thank you very much for the follow. I think you streamed maybe just before I went live or something. But thank you for that. So, what am I doing here? Um, well, um, I have a new project. So actually, you know what? Let's introduce this new project properly, right? With a bit of a news bulletin type thing. So I guess it'd be like this. Oh yeah. Good evening, and now the news at six. <laughs> what do you reckon? Can I be a, uh, a news reporter? Someone today actually said to me, they reckon I could be uh, an audiobook reader. Because uh, they said I've got a good voice for it. And I was like, hmm, could be extra incomes. Who knows? That, that might be a thing. Um, but the news here is uh, I've started a new project on the Kaisenheim Valheim server, um, which is joinable if you're new here and you want to join. Uh, extra to join. If you have any questions, let me know uh, here in the chat, of course. But yeah, so it, I wanted to do a new project and I wanted to take on, I want to have a go at a modern build design because Valheim, it's, it's very traditional Viking sort of stuff, right? Um, so I want to see how we go when we try and do it a bit more uh, a bit more modern. So that's what we're going to do. And we'll have a, have a crack at that today and get some more stone. And we'll see how we go. So as you can see, I've, I've flattened quite a large area. This was all like mountains around here. We have tons of trees here and stuff. So I flattened all of this stuff when I was just derping around the server like I do uh, in preparation for the stream. So we'll see how that goes today. Now, um, one thing I wanted to do uh, I'll worry about that later. At some point, I want to get storage sorted out here, and I want to get a cart here as well. Um, is that all the stuff I've got here? Okay, we've got some more here. Uh, is anyone on the server? They are. I better be uh, saying hello. Oops. I'm terrible at typing. Oh, my goodness. That was not worth it. Just to say I went to do a smiley face, but there we go. F2 does show you players indeed. I just, I always do it this way. I'm so used to it this way. So you can see like right now Bear and Nathesian. I can never say his name. It's online. Um, but there we go. Hey, it's Simp Haley. Uh, Simp and me over here. <laughs> uh, simply Haley. Sorry. Misread that one, Haley. Uh, thank you for the, uh, the sub. Appreciate that. 16 months at tier 3 means I really should not be making funny jokes that are not funny for Haley uh, <laughs> when she subscribes to me. Thank you so much for the continued support, Haley. Um, very much appreciate it. And uh, 16 months. I'm always surprised when yours comes up because you're one of my first. So it's like, really? I've been doing this for 16 months? That's insane. Um, wait, hold on. You know what? Me and Haley go back so far that Haley, you get your little sound effect played off the new stream deck. Here we go. Yeah. This is me thinking back to when Haley and I first met. Yeah. All the memories. What do you reckon? There you go, Haley. Just for you. <laughs> uh, I'll get better with this stuff. It's my first day using it, right? I'll get better with the timing and stuff. But uh, this is the fun we can have with this stuff. I'm so in love with this. I've been playing around with it all day. Um... Just putting loads of stuff on here I didn't even need and then be like, okay, I don't need that, I'll delete it. But like, just having fun with it to do that. Uh, let's only actually flatten this a little bit more to get on that level. 
So hard to do a big area and get it all at the same level on Valheim. Much love to you too, Haley. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun. This whole uh, stream deck thing and all the stuff we're going to do with this. I I'm excited for this. Yeah, you can probably tell. You can probably tell. But yeah, I've got new lighting arriving soon as well. And I think I might better hook that up to it. But if not, the lighting I've got coming does come with a remote control anyway. So uh, we might have to like, tie in some things that when certain things happen, I'm thinking like, you know, somebody um, gifts a few subs at a time or like has been subscribed for a long time like Haley has, or you know, just something like that, whatever we want to do really, it just depends. Uh, we can like tee up like sound effects and lighting effects and audio, uh, sorry, and visual effects and stuff. And we can run it all from our stream deck with just the push of a button, which is pretty cool actually. Um, yeah. All right, I'll stop talking about the stream deck for now. I'll talk about it again later. Don't worry. But uh, I, I'm, I'm guessing you guys are done. How is, how is everybody else? <laughs> how are you guys? Uh, I'm just banging on about my stream deck. What's new with you? What's what's going on? I uh, hope you're all keeping well during these continued interesting times. With everything going on in the world, I, uh, I might be getting a uh, COVID vaccination soon. I think... Uh, they're due to be released for my age group here where I live soon. Uh, you, they're doing it by age group, so I wasn't able to get one before now. But I think soon I'll, I'll be getting one of those. Anybody have one? Anyone going to put me off? <laughs> I know some people, are, there's a big uh, big anti-vax community out there, I believe, right? I've been told. Now, yeah, I'm going to start this build off as just a giant square. Well, it will almost definitely be a rectangle. If it's a square, it's purely by chance. But you guys get the point. Uh, for a modern build. And then we might chip away at it and do some things. But we'll, we'll see. We shall see. Um, it just kind of depends how this build goes. I wanted to get like the framework for it done. And then build it from the outside in. Almost. Oh, Spotify music. I thought it sounded quiet in here. Um... Oh, and when I do a dad joke later, I got a sound effect for that as well. <laughs> so, that'll be fun. Uh, and I got my coffee. Coffee love. Uh, what am I here for? Oh, we need to get that as one of my little videos. Here I am. Look at me. Love me. <laughs> that has to be added. <laughs> oh, dear. This is gonna. This is going to take a lot of my time. I just know. Um, I've had, uh, my two, and I didn't have, oh, your two vaccines. One of them is one that you cannot experience. Oh, really? So there's a side effect that just affects women? Yay for being a male of the species. <laughs> oh, dear. Alright, so this should work out just about kind of why are you at different level of why this happened. Uh, let's take that down. I don't want to build like that doesn't want to snap. It will snap. Though. Okay, good. There. And then there. Oh, I'm missing the requirement. That stone is so close to being in the right place. If I get rid of these things, I can probably Get you down in there. Okay, so why was this not the same level? That's the confusing thing for me. Because um, this literally... If this is all on the same level, right? Then there shouldn't be a problem. Did I derp up somewhere? Doesn't look like it. So I don't know why that's happened. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's definitely not in the right place. Maybe that's where I derped up. Let's build back from this way and see how this goes. You in there. Oh, good, it was. Okay, great. So, reasonable size house for a, a modern house build. And uh, I guess we're going to need now to kind of fill it in, right? Fill in the stone inside. And then we can hopefully build up and do some cool things after that. So that's going to be the plan. Oh, I need craft position here. Yeah. All, right. All right. And at some point, I might get a better storage system set up here or a cart or something. But for now, we can just kind of build this and go from there. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, get rid of you. I think it's going to be nighttime soon, actually. In fact, when it is, I might strategically time my pee then. 
<laughs> Got to pee before my stream. Now I need to pee like straight away. When it turns night time, I'll pee. The guys on here can sleep. Then we be good. Hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me get some of that happening. Oh, that's good. Got some vitamin C pills in there. There's my brother's I'm well at the moment, and I don't want to get ill. Oh, and plant any as well. So we're going to need some sort of plant any interaction with Stream Deck eventually, I think. I don't know what, but uh, it's got to happen. Figure out a little video for him. I'm looking at a second camera angle. I thought my GoPro could turn into like a second webcam, but I'm not 100% sure it is now annoyingly. So I need to look into that. But yeah, we shall see. Hello, Dizzy Saurus Rex. How are you going? Uh, I really do love my new toy. I do. I do. Is that a, is it? Yes. Is that is that a bad thing? Oh, did I miss something? Get a squiggly filter that makes it look like he's dancing. <laughs> we could we could try something like that. We could definitely try that. I'm pretty good, thank you, Dizzy. Yeah, pretty good, man. I had a very good day today, actually. Just been uh, productive and happy day, and had a tasty healthy mexican dinner thing as well which was good and now i'm streaming it's all my favorite things and my new toy arrived of course that is also i don't know if i mentioned that yet but that <laughs> and that's also pretty good uh my new toy is my stream deck so uh i got the elgato elgato stream deck um xl so we can do all kinds of things i haven't got much set up with it just yet but uh i certainly plan on doing that so uh yeah all right you know what? it's night time i'm gonna quickly log out put it on my brb screen the flick of a button and uh, i'll be back in just a sec i gotta pee hello wolfman hello and goodbye um i'll be back soon wait oh, i'm on the wrong screen i think i set it up wrong damn all right that's that's my fault not the deck's fault do not speak ill of the deck <laughs> so that should now change gotta do this right me with new toys, I told you. It's going to take some working out. You still get the chair, Haley. It's coming. I will be back in two. Not even. There it is. All right. That's maybe something else we need. Some sort of chair stream stuff that happens again. I don't know what. I noticed in the toilets there, my hair. Man, I'm all over the place tonight with this. I'm not, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happens. I think it's the headphones. They go on. I kind of lose control. I got to try and look at least a little bit good. We got some ladies watching. I got to, I got to keep looking, uh, try and keep looking sharp, you know? <laughs> Try and look my best. Anyway, Jeremy uh, appreciates the support, guys. He says, much love. Alright, I'm 
slug him back in. And then we'll get back onto this. I think we're actually going to have to get quite a lot of stone um, stockpiled up here. Oh man, they didn't sleep. Let's get back to my uh, live stream. And uh, I'll figure this out in the morning. Basically. Buffalo, thank you so much. I appreciate the uh, subscribing. Uh, five months, what a long time to support me. Thank you so much for that continued support. Um, let's give you a little fanfare for that. There we go. I think it deserves that. <laughs> oh yeah, just for you, Buffalo. There we go. Again, I'm going to figure stuff out so that we can do like when people uh, subscribe and stuff. Yeah, we can get all different things going on. But that's what you get for now. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, let's see, resin going in there, farming uh, for that one. Okay, good. Um, let's see. So bears there. They, I think they're at their bases. They, they might even be sleeping. I'll just check for them. Maybe I came on at the exact wrong time. <laughs> Yay, indeed, for sure. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta love that. Um, It, yes, I do not impress the ladies with my gaming skills. That's true. Um, unless you like moobs, then I'm I'm your man. Right? You got it going on. But other than that, yeah, it's my hair that does it for sure. <laughs> a DVI cord? What is that? I don't even know. Um, should you buy it in a store? Or Amazon? Uh, I don't know. I guess whatever's cheaper and quicker and whatever. I don't know. What, whatever works for you. All right, me too. So who are we waiting on here? This is going to be a thing of the past soon. He's in the great unknown. But we don't know what he's doing. I'll give it a couple, like, like a sec, and then... If he doesn't sleep with her. But we're gonna have one player sleep soon. I'm so excited for it. So yeah. Well, I guess that, that comes down to personal preference then, D. I'm getting up. Uh, because like, for me, I'm quite impulsive. Um, actually, I better tell these guys. Out of bed now. If you want to sleep, let me know. So I would probably be like, I want it, and I'd go get it. <laughs> but that's not necessarily the best way to be. <laughs> so, yeah. Hello, Edit. How you going, mate? Haley's the same. That's, yeah. I. It's it's so hard when I'm like, okay, a few dollars. I get it now? A few dollars. Every time. But, that, but I'm not saying that's necessarily... I'm far from a financial planner. Wow, we have loads of stone here that I didn't even know about. All right, I'm very happy. Let's see, let's get let's get this happening. Whack it all in here. Let's take it over to that other area. Might be enough to do the floor. Well, there's only one in there, though. Yeah. This is all, all signs. It's all smoke and mirrors. There's not actually that much stone in there. But uh, I had... I had thought I would get a bit more than that. Never mind. Yeah, if it were me, I like I have three monitors now. Um, when I when I upgraded and had two monitors, I was like, I don't know how I ever managed um, with with one before, and now I've got three. I'm like, I don't know how I managed with two. <laughs> it's just you get so used to it. So if it was me, I'd, I'd definitely be needing two monitors. I'd be at the store for sure. Um. But hey. All right, so let's see. We got uh, a little more stuff here. The only issue is it's not the... Uh, oh, this game isn't the best viewer experience uh, of an evening. I feel like... Where is he here? Let me see. He's not moved. Um, Thaleston is not moved. I don't know if he's like AFK. He's holding up the show here, this guy. Seriously. But still, one player sleep very soon. Actually, I just realized I didn't finish this row. It's going to hurt my OCD if I don't do this row by row. Yeah, you guys are not going to be able to see much here, huh? If I'm doing this. 
I'm just trying to think what else I could potentially do that would be in a more lit up area. To be honest, I don't know. Well, that's pretty exciting indeed that you can have two monitors. Are you, um, have you ever used two uh, before or is it more you just want it now that you're getting into streaming? Because for streaming, it's like so much, like I used to like using it just for gaming and I'd have like my game on one screen and I'm normally watching something on the other screen, right? On my YouTube app or whatever. Um, but uh, when you're like recording and streaming as well, it's, yeah, it's so useful for those times. He's running away. What a... I knew he said a non-PG word and I had to really think about it. I was like, no, that really is not a PG word. What a wimp. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, you know what I need? I need a meow noise. Because I go to say that particular word quite a lot, and I stop myself. And then I can just push the button, be like, what a meow. There we go. Um, Alright, let's see here. We need more stone. These guys, why are they no sleep? Yes, for the meow. It's not, it's not degrading, it's not sexist. I'm not going to get banned. Are we all sure on this? you got to be so careful these days. Hey, Ash. How are you going? Welcome along to another stream, featuring a brand new thing. This is my stream deck. It takes a while for it to show up. No, it's because I'm lagging. Anyway, if I push it again, it should go. I think it will go now. Wait, is that? Oh, I don't know. I'll see you. <laughs> It'll flip back up or something. Yeah, and there's it gone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, I can't see anything this far. Uh, yeah. B2, I want to sleep, but I don't think it's an option. All right, can we get rid of, well, I'll just get rid of a little bit of this. A little bit. Oh, Ash, I really have. There's been so much that it's been useful already. And right now, of the 30, I think it's 36 buttons. Wait, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight times four, uh, 32 buttons. Um, I've only got about 10 that I, I'm going to use. And only about half of those are for fun. And, uh, but yeah, but it's been fun. Lots of cool stuff. Well, maybe it's turning morning now, hopefully. Yes. As things happen... I will, uh, you'll see some of the sound effects that we've got and stuff like that. I just, uh, I feel like I've already overused them. And so I should probably, uh, you know, <laughs> hold off on that. Use them a bit more sparingly. But if cool things happen in the stream, sound effects will go with it. And there's one that nobody's heard yet, so get excited for that. No such thing. <laughs> Use away. All right, well, maybe, maybe we'll have something in a bit. We shall see. I'm sure this will be something that evolves over time as I find new uses for it and stuff. Should be good. I was thinking that, Jess. I was looking today. Um, it's just the, the library of sounds is huge. So I'd like to get the... -dum -dum yeah, that'd be good. Right now I have a different sound effect, which when somebody plays a dad joke player... I will play afterwards, so you will hear it. Um, but yeah. And this is the thing. You guys can suggest things, and we can have you get involved with stuff for this. And uh, like I said, it will evolve. <laughs> there we go. I knew someone was going to do that. It had to be D. Where's my dad joke? But here it is. Is there a noob sound? Not yet. I'll get one. You know what I haven't done yet? Because I'm a noob. Um, okay. Let's... We gotta find like a good one for the first dad joke with a sound effect, right? Um. <laughs> All right. What do you call a dog that can tell the time? A watchdog. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that stupid little laugh. I was just like, that'll do. That that'll be the dad joke <laughs> laugh for now. <laughs> Again, this may change over time. But I kind of liked that one. 
You know, maybe later I'll just do a just chatting segment and I'll just go through all the different sound effects with you guys. <laughs> we can we can add some in for the next stream or something. <laughs> They're quite funny to listen to, some of them. And uh, yeah, I, say, I definitely had a lot of fun there today with all this stuff. Hello, Partsdale. Hello, hello. You reckon, Haley? All right, perhaps we'll do that later on. Oh, look at that. I've buried my stone cutter. Um, Finn, it's just, I've got the, um, well, the Elgato Stream Deck comes with Elgato Stream Deck software. And on there, there's a uh, load of plugins and things. And I've just got the defaults right now. So it just comes with a, quite a big library of sound effects, which I haven't really looked at yet, and music, which is all the stuff you guys have heard today. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically what we've been doing. Um, right, what I want to do is smash this cart, take it through, make it the other place, go get a load of stone, and uh, onwards with the build, basically. But uh, in the meantime, we're just going to quickly lose anything here that we don't need to uh, to lighten the load and stuff. So we've got that there. Uh, where's my flint at? It's in there. Uh, wood. Well, I'll take the wood through and I'll put it in the thing, actually. Just we'll need that. Uh, gas stuff, I will show you in just a second. We're going to head back there real quick. Uh, just kind of come in here to get rid of a load of stuff, like my great off eyes and my feathers. That's it. Um, and then, yeah, okay, so we'll go back through. Oh, I need to smash up the car. Let's do that. Uh, but Finn, if you have any questions about streaming, I'll do my best to uh, to help you out. Um, I wouldn't say I'm like an expert when it comes to streaming, but I have learned a thing or two since uh, obviously starting this a little while ago. So, yeah. If there's anything I can help you with, let me know. I shall try. Um, I mean, this is, for me, like anything I do in life, I'm always a complete pro at it. <laughs> see, there we go. Self, self troll. Um, right, let's see. So, I'm going to make the car up. Which we'll do there. We'll take it up there. What I don't need on me is most of this wood. Sue. So, Want the cart first? I'm going to need to make up the workbench. Then the cart, which um, let's make it somewhere we can get off to a good start. Good start with the cart. There we go. <laughs> you love that. This is going to be fun, that's for sure. All right, stone on us. The wood doesn't really matter. Let's go. Let's give it a go. Oh yeah, Gastov. So this is going to be this blooming fog everywhere, but. Um, I wish you could turn that down or something. Anyway, uh, it's going to be a modern house build near the water. And just for the sake of, like, I wanted to have a stab at building something modern, because obviously all the Valheim builds traditionally are quite Viking slash, like, medieval looking, right? That that type of theme, lots of wood and stuff. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge to try and get a modern feel to it. But um, I think I'm up to it. Now, I'm going to do something that gets me a lot of stick, and I'm going to put my... Um, vegetation way down hate is gone i hate but look i missed that rock this is why i do it okay you guys maybe don't need to do it i, I was stood here and i didn't see that there was a rock there this is why i've got to do this I, it would take me forever and a day else to get all the stone because i would be running past it like an absolute muppet um man as i'm streaming there's so many things that i need little sound effects for this um muppet and noob <laughs> two that will feature quite highly i would imagine there we go Sounds nice, Gastoff, yeah. That's me right now, needing to farm some stone. And uh, inadvertently farming Gradorfs and a few necks probably at the same time, it will seem. Oh, look at this. We've got stone, stones galore around here. That's what, that's what we like to see. Man, the cart. When I first started playing Valheim, I didn't know about the cart. And when I first discovered it, I was like, oh my god. It's the best thing ever. It changed my life, guys. It really did. And then when I learned that you could dodge roll out of the cart, which someone was good enough to let me know in a comment, because I didn't know that, it changed my life too. Awesome, Belak. Well, uh, if you have any questions for me, uh, obviously let me know. I'm on the server right now with a couple of others, actually. Um, and yeah, you can do exclamation mark join to get the link here as well. Anything else, uh, let me know. 
pretty exciting times for my servers, actually. I was talking with a new server host today. Um, I'm looking to uh, change server host soon for my Valheim servers. And uh, it's pretty exciting. Some of the stuff that we're going to be able to do when we change and stuff is exciting. This, on the other hand, is far from exciting. What is going on here? Right. How did that even happen? It washed away <laughs> while I was gone. It's, just, it's not nice. All right. Um, I see I see a rock or two. There we go. Uh, I want my thingy. And I want to come in here. Uh, dodge roll is so nice in Valheim. It should take on pretty much any enemy. If you get the time out. Yes, indeed. I think it's a really, really nice feature all around, actually, the dodge roll. Um, Jess, it will happen soon. Um, uh, Lights to Noop. Thank you for the follow. Welcome along. Yeah, I, I would imagine within the next week um, we can get it done. It's going to depend on how quickly I can get things done with the server host and stuff. Uh, oh, there's a wood pile there. Maybe someone lives around here. Oh, hello. Yeah, I just kind of went off to random minus this build, so I don't even know. But yeah, so it should, it should be soon. Um, but like, you you would be able to connect right now, I'd imagine, if you tried, Jess. Um, it's, I think, yeah, unfortunately, the server's down a lot at the moment, which that problem's going to be gone. I mean, we'll, we'll, once I move hosts, we should have, like, you know, 99.99% uptime on average per month. So it's, it's, it's basically, for all intents and purposes, never going to be down. Um, which is really, really cool. And we're going to be heavily ramping up the amount of RAM. The amount of uh, lag is going to be severely decreased as a result of that, and also a better hosting location and better uh, hosting hardware. Uh, no matter who we go with, that is what's going to happen. So, hey, lighten up. Hey, let's play a little fanfare for you. This is for you for subscribing, mate. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love that one. That is a, um, that, that little fanfare is like a little, it makes me feel like I'm at the theater or something, you know? Uh, but like to do, thank you so much for uh, coming along, following, subscribing. Uh, appreciate that. I should say resubscribing, that's two months now. So that is a long time, uh, uh, there's a second sub, obviously. So thank you so much for the continued support. Fanfare just for you. I need more of these cool effects and things, but, uh, but there we go. Cord is ready for pickup. Wow. That was quick. Did you phone the store or something? That was very... Oh, I've got these stones here. Okay, great. Where did my cart go? Yeah, look, so there's a wood pile here. So, someone must live nearby. Um, oh, and also, thank you for the kind words, Lightning. I do appreciate that. And uh, don't worry. When it comes to Valheim, I'm just getting started. I'm going nowhere for a long, long time. That's for sure. In the, in the Valheim world. Actually, so something kind of interesting happened today. I did do a post about it on my uh, YouTube community page, but I'll just quickly chat about it here as I'm just chopping rocks. I'm sort of looking for something to talk about anyway. Uh, but I had a video that is, it will probably always be a video that's incredibly close to my heart and maybe always my favorite video on my channel, um, which was a video, a Minecraft tutorial on how to break bedrock, um, which uh, at the time, it just, for the start of its life, did not very much in terms of views. And then it started doing a lot. It was my first ever video to hit 10,000 views. And then it just took off, right? It's now on approaching 900,000. Um, but for me at the time, I'd never had a video that had done 10K views. And so then when it did like 10K, 25K, 50K, 100 I was celebrating all these milestones with it along the way. Um, and it was such an important video to me because it really made me feel like okay, I've actually done a video that has done this. Like, all right, I might need to make a hundred more before I can, you know, do this full time, whatever. But at least I've done it once. If I've done it once, I can do it again. So it really gave me like a lot of confidence and, you know, that I could maybe actually do that one day. Like actually, I guess, get to where I'm at now where I'm generating a, an income that pays my bills and stuff through content creation. Um, and it was the number one video on my channel in terms of views and stuff like that for the longest time, and finally it's been overtaken uh, by a Valheim video, which is insane given the start of this year, I'd never even heard of this game. Um, and now it's like just dominating my channel and my life <laughs> in the best way possible. 
And uh, yeah, so it's kind of this monumental occasion that that got overtaken. And then it got me thinking like, well, you know, maybe one day that one will get overtaken as well. Who knows? We'll see what happens with that. But all the people out there, you guys who are here right now, you know, thank you so much for all of the support over the years. And uh, to the new people, thank you so much for the support with Valheim and making this year a very, very incredible journey for me. I'll be turning 30 this year and uh, it'll be a year I'll never forget, that's for sure, with all the YouTube stuff that's been happening, as well as turning 30. It's like there's a lot going on this year. It's, uh, it's a little bit overwhelming at times. The changes in my life in the last, like, 12 months have been phenomenal. And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to say thank you. And um, and I think we'll, we'll end with a little montage that you guys will have to create in your head of me reminiscing about good times, and there's only one sound effect for that. I just look up here, like I'm remembering, so. You know? We'll get that happening. Get get the feels going. <laughs> oh, these new sound effects are great. <laughs> you like that one, Ash? That's a good one, right? Hey, that's uh, that's awesome there. Uh, rugged Indoorsman. Um, glad you're loving the game. Glad you've been enjoying my videos as well, of course. And thank you for coming over to Twitch. Um, I feel the obsession with the game. You know, I, I, I love this game very, very much. I get defensive about it. People, it's annoying me how many people are like having to go at the devs and saying, oh, you know, stuff should have been done quicker and this update's like rubbish and, and whatever. It's not even out yet. Like, at least let them release it before you call it rubbish, surely, right? Um, and I'm just like, come on, like they, they're a, a small team, like they've they've been doing a good job, and to me they've created a fantastic game that has given me so much enjoyment, so much fun, and so many other people the same experience. Like, I don't know, I get, I get defensive and I start defending it. I, I try not to get sucked in with comments and stuff on YouTube because, you know, if I did that for every comment on my channel, then that's like all I'd do all day would be just like having these like flame wars with people or whatever um but sometimes i'm just like no nah, i just can't just leave that one i've seen it i've got to like you know that's the best so far well there you go um you haven't heard the news bulletin though i'll need to find some news to tell you guys and then i can play the news bulletin sound effect um i feel like i've told you all my news i need to think if i can if i can think of some more news we'll do a news bulletin intro for it <laughs> we did that at the start of the stream um, and of course, I'll change these sound effects up from time to time and add new ones and whatever. So hopefully, it won't get too uh, too boring and stuff. But it should be good fun. Uh, that's for sure. Um, okay, let's go up and have a go at this rock up here. I think this is a big rock. We should get a good amount of stone from this. My cart's gonna roll away, isn't it? Yeah, runaway cart always. Look at it go. Sorry, we'll stop there. Nice, nice. Uh, right, news, news, news. What can I tell you for news? Hmm, I'll have to think about it. I'm not sure what to do for my 30th birthday. Suggestions, people? Um, I was going to be spending, uh, going on vacation. I was going to be going to uh, Melbourne and Sydney for like a week. But uh, yeah, it's... With all the lockdowns and stuff that's going on over there, it's not really an option. Um, so might be doing that next year and having a belated 30th birthday then. So we'll be staying in Perth, we'll be going to my favourite restaurant and spending time with my family and having a night out with the boys, of course. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else to do for it. My parents like, wanted to get me a present for it as well. That's something that will last like forever, right? And it'd be like, always like, oh, well, they got me that for my 30th. I couldn't think of anything I wanted as well. Because the only thing I spend money on is like tech stuff. Uh, that's the only stuff I ever want, really. <laughs> like they were thinking about getting me like a watch or something. You know, and get it engraved or something. And then I've got that forever. But I have a watch. I love watches. and I But I have a watch. And I was like, I don't really... Can't really justify it. Like they're not cheap to get a decent watch, you know. I don't want them to spend money on that. No, I don't know what a... Uh... I don't know what to think. I don't know what to do for that. So I know they want to get me something, but I'm not sure what to do with that. Uh, Apex Reaper Gaming has subscribed with Prime. Subscribe for five months. You know what that means? You get yourself a fanfare. Oh, yeah. You didn't know that was coming, did you, Apex? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, five months of being subscribed. And that's the first time you've heard that. Because it's the first time I've done it. But thank you so much, Apex, for that continued support. Um, do very much appreciate all of you guys. Uh, whether you are just here watching, you watch my YouTube videos, or you're subbed, or Patreons, or right the way up to the people like Haley who uh, dedicates basically her life to helping me out, it feels like, with the amount of time that you give Haley and you Ash and D and everybody else who I'm missing because I never plan these things out and then I miss people and feel bad about it. But yes, all of you are very much appreciated. Um, so thank you all. Um, Xzen, Xing. Uh, this is a joinable server through my Patreon. Um, it is behind a paywall in order to help us better staff the server and deal with hackers and grief and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, it's it's not for everybody because of that. I am working longer term on putting together a free public Valheim server that I will like record on and stuff and that you guys will be able to join for free. Uh, but we're just not yeah, the, uh, excuse me, not there yet. Unfortunately, the, um, the Valheim game itself isn't like overly geared up yet for uh, the multiplayer experiences i think it comes down to them not really predicting the level of success the game has had and stuff and maybe not thinking it was needing stuff which i totally get um but it just yeah it makes options a little bit limited so we've got to figure out our own way of doing things for now go away norton but once i can get that stuff figured out and stuff i will have a public server uh, as well as the uh, Kaisenheim one as well. Um, okay, cut. Let's see what you can do. Geronimo! Whee! There we go. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Um, why am I running my cart back here? Actually, I should just mark this location. Hashtag new. Um, no, I want that. Wait, give me the hammer and repair it. What? What do you mean missing requirement? I don't want to build it. I just want to repair it. Is that... Not a thing, I just want to... There, right, okay, thank you. Um, so let's go repair my hammer. Basically. Oh, my uh, my pickaxe, not my hammer. Let's go do that a sec. Yeah, thanks for the look, uh, Nat Swarm. Is that Nat Swarm? Nat Swarm? That's that's what it is. Not a warm Nat. <laughs> that would just be weird. I wonder if gnats can get warm, like flies and stuff. Like, do you ever get a fly who's like really chilly or boiling hot? Does that happen? Does it bother them? These are the questions, guys, that will be asked during my stream. The questions that no one has the answer for because nobody cares. <laughs> nor has ever thought about it before. But we think about it. And that's what you get here, guys. This is my pitch. This is why... You should stay here forever and watch me and not watch anybody else ever under any circumstances. <laughs> warm gnats? I think warm gnats. I think so. I think that's going to stick now. You like warm almonds and chestnuts? I mean, if I had to eat warm almonds and chestnuts or warm gnats, it'd be it'd be the nuts. That that would that would be preferable. Not going to lie. Although a lot of things would be preferable to a gnat. <laughs> Just like that, we're somehow now sat here talking about gnats. Um, alright. Sleep tonight. Let's see if they want to sleep tonight. We make a little song every now and again. You just googled nut? Good nut? What's a good nut? Is that nuts for gnats? Is it nuts made by gnomes? These are the questions. Here's a question for you, chat. This is a good question. All my questions are good. Uh, um, what, uh, what, do, do any of you believe in a creature that is widely considered to be mythical, but you believe in its existence? Could be anything, right? Ghosts, aliens on Earth, the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, the Yeti, um, Gnomes, elves, whatever is kind of why I've thought about this in the first place. Uh, what else? Got? Mothman, Springheel Jack is an English one. There's loads out there. There's so many out there. Um, 
And there's some interesting stories around some of them. But I just wonder if anybody here has a personal connection to any of those. Something they strongly believe in. Or if you're all uh, a, bit, uh, a bit too scientific for all that kind of malarkey up in here. There we go. Lights a noob. So that is already quite interesting. Uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... I'm out of bed. All right, who, who's online right now? Let me just check. There, yeah, it's it's. If is the one holding up the show here. Uh, I'd love to hear if you that your Bigfoot story, like, and if, if you'd be willing to to share. Uh, Wolfman says Skinwalkers. Is that something about the Skinwalker Ranch or something? Am I right in that? And that's aliens, isn't it? In in uh, somewhere in America, I forget exactly where. You're Irish, you believe in a lot of pictures. Like, yeah, Irish has like a really strong uh, history with mythology and mythical beings and giants and such. You know, I've always wanted to see Giants Causeway, actually, which is up in Ireland. I've always wanted to see Ireland in, in general. But, um, but yeah, in particular, uh, Giants Causeway is something since a kid. Um... Yeah, it does sound pretty, uh, uh, it looks pretty interesting. Personal experience with the spirit after the death of a loved one changed my, ooh. Would you be willing to share that, uh, story with, with us, uh, Akladava? Notice I didn't call you Avocado, but still drew attention to the fact that I sometimes think of you as an avocado. <laughs> That's just how I roll. Oh, we got ourselves a dad joke from Castellian. Great timing. Because uh, it's night time anyway. So let me just whip back in here. Get myself nice and safe. And then we'll do that. And then I want to come back to your guys' stories about this. This is already getting quite interesting. Um, let's see. Some of these are just so... So not good. So i got to go. Alright, here we go. Uh, where do people go when they have two broken legs? Nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> that is that sound effect, I swear. That's, that is the best thing. All right, uh, where are we at here? The Beast of Bray Road is allegedly very near where I live. Very same people. What What is the Beast of Bray Road meant to be? Is it like a escaped big cat? Is it like a Bigfoot or something or an alien? What, what is that meant to be? I've not heard about that one before. Um, hello to Beautiful Onion. First time here. Welcome along for your first time. The warmest of welcomes to you. Uh, came here because of YouTube. I have a question. How do you guys place the yellow mushroom to make lighting? Uh, you can place the yellow mushroom down on uh, on an item stand. And, uh, you know, I'll go demonstrate that real quick. Because uh, at night time, there's limited things we can do here anyway. So we're just kind of hanging out. talking about mythical beings and such. And in the meantime, I will uh, try and show you this a sec. Oh, wait, it was supposed to be an Alexa joke. Ah, uh, Castelli, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna, uh, let me rectify that for you. Hey, Alexa, tell me a joke. Ever heard of the band 999 megabytes? Probably not. They've never made it to a gig. <laughs> there we go. Alexa gets a little laugh as well. Oh, no, shush. Sorry, Alexa, turn off. Well, oh. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing now. <laughs> there you go, you got a second one. A sort of werewolf, very interesting. Uh, Lighter Noob says, During my high school years, I was heading to a friend's house for a party on the way there. I looked over my left in the field. I saw a huge bipedal creature walking. I could barely see it because it was dark out with little moonlight. It was seven or eight foot with huge... That is pretty... Were you scared? Was it a scary experience? Because I imagine that would be. Um... Yeah, like, that, that does sound a bit scary. To me, at least. Um, Akron Davis says, after my dad passed, very sorry to hear that, by the way. Um, you know, my condolences to you and your family. Uh, he came to see me, had an hour long conversation with him, uh, and got to say goodbye. Found out a year later, he checked in on all five of us. Wow. Yeah, that is, that's pretty powerful. The fact that it was all five of you as well, right? Like, not just one person is very interesting. Um,. And I imagine, obviously, a tremendously sad event and stuff, but maybe that 
conversation with him would have given you a little bit of extra closure, right? So that would have been a nice uh, experience that, that you had with him. So, yeah, that's an interesting one. Um, see, I've always thought kind of like that. Like, you kind of need... What do I need for an item stand? I need some bronze nails. Do I not have any of those on me? I, I need to get some. Yeah, I think you kind of need personal experience sometimes with this sort of thing. Um, in order to kind of really believe it yourself, right? Um, which I've, I've not really had. I did apparently see a ghost, but I was too young to remember it. Um, so I don't know. That's very interesting, Wolfman, about the um, skinwalkers and the native shamans. Um, yeah, so many, so many stories out there about these types of things, and it certainly gets you thinking. I love watching videos on it and that sort of thing. Uh, if you guys are the same, there's a channel called Top Fives. Um, you're welcome, is all I'm going to say, because that channel will change your life. It's just so interesting. Oh, he's fine with this. That's what I was doing wrong. Um, yeah, there's so much content on there that he makes, and it's all very interesting stuff. So, uh, yeah, if you want to check him out on YouTube. He's got like three and a half million subs, so it's pretty big. Uh, Lights has kind of freaked me out. Uh, once I got to my friend's house, you went out to look for it. Scary thing is, found nothing, heard nothing. Very strange. Yeah, it would have been a weird, eerie kind of uh, situation there, for sure. Uh, right, so, if I put this on the floor, and then I put my yellow mushroom there, and I look at it and I press 6, there we go. Uh, I forget who was asking about that now. Beautiful onion, I think. That's how it, that's how it do. And you can do the same with the ones... Wait, actually, no, you can. Can you? I couldn't put a yellow mushroom on there, I don't think, could I? If I was to take you right now and try and put you on there, does that work? I, I should know this. No, not to that home stand. Uh, only to the ones on the floor. That's how you do that, though. We'll have a little light there for night times. <laughs> now we can see what we do. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to have a quick read of this comment before I go back out. We're going to just kind of chill for a bit. Uh, my sister was living with and caring for our mother. Uh, Mum passed back in March. Again, my condolences to you, Finn. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, your sister was asleep when she passed, and she sleeps for long. I heard mother say her name, and bolted up thinking that mum would come into her room. Wow. Ooh, I said a shiver down my spine, just the thought of that. You know, there, there, there is just, like... Like, I, I like science, right? I, I love science, in fact. I, I like to read about it in my free time, because I'm a cool kid. Um, <laughs> but for real, you know? And, and, and I get, like... You know, sometimes people come up with these theories and stories and stuff. And, like, science, whatever, like, science people kind of just dismiss them as stuff. What the heck? Okay. Um, why are they here? Am I being... Oh, it's because it's... Yeah, no, I don't know. And, uh, yeah, and it's like... I don't know. I think we are too... I think the very intelligent people are sometimes a little bit too quick to dismiss things like this. Because I think we should be more willing and open to admitting how little we actually know about the world about the universe and about the possibilities of things that are out there um you know if we went back and showed the internet to someone who was living two thousand years ago that would be indistinguishable from magic to them but it's very real very possible it's happening right and so how do we know uh if there had been you know like, like if, if humans are do survive for like another million years, how much would our knowledge expand? How much would we be able to do right now? The right now we would think is impossible magic, witchcraft, whatever, right? So I don't know. I think I think these things are they are interesting, and they are worth giving some sort of credence to. Sometimes you do get a lot of hoaxes and stuff as well, which is unfortunate because it detracts from the real unexplained stories and such. But there we go. Uh, I should catch up on chat here. Mom had to mention her voice had gotten kind of whiny, um, but her voice sounded normal. Was that kind of like a nice thought for your sister, though, to think that maybe your mom then is healed or back to a younger, healthier self when she passed on? Um, maybe like maybe that was like almost her spirit voice. I don't know. I don't know how to put it. If you know what I mean, was that? I could see you can maybe take a positive from that. It was, yeah. I can I can see that, for sure. Um, obviously, an incredibly sad time, I'm not saying that, but but yeah, it was it was a comfort. Well, that's, that's good. I, you know, it's nice that she had that, for sure. 
Um, gold bullion. I am trying to make a modern house. Yeah, that's the uh, the idea. So I'm, I'm giving that a go. We're just laying the foundations for that right now. Um, but yes. Um, my sister uh, can see she was there when dad passed and said his parents uh, were there to meet him and another woman she didn't know. We think it was his sister who passed when he was a kid. Very, very interesting. I can't imagine what it must be like to experience something like that. Very, uh, very unique, different sort of experience. One of my friend's baby was born on the night you had a super weird dream of the whole group being in jail and all of us having a friend's back in there. Next thing you wake up and your baby was born. Very, very strange. Did they name the baby after you? <laughs> in honor. <laughs> that would have been uh, good. That's awesome, Finn. I think if you're able to do that, that is fantastic. Because I know that that's what my family would want. Uh, if, God forbid, anything happened to them, you know. Um, yeah, they would want you to... And I would as well. I would much rather people had a good time and celebrate and think about the good memories with me and stuff like that. But I understand how difficult that would be to do. But the fact you're able to do that, I think is fantastic. And I, and I think you're absolutely right that um, your mum would have definitely loved that. And I'm sure she would have much preferred that to everybody just being sad, you know, as, as is the typical tradition. Um, okay, let's put uh, this stuff back in the cart here. Um... Very interesting, Finn. My goodness. I have one story that's kind of like this, but nowhere near to the same extent. Um, but we had, almost exactly a year ago, actually, uh, almost exactly this time last year, a, a family friend passed, and he was, he was an older guy, um, and I didn't really know him much until his later years in life, because... When I got old enough to go out and do adult things, like go out for drinks and stuff, you know, I would I would see him and I went out with him a few times and stuff like that as part of a group. Um, and when I heard he was unwell, um, like like very unwell towards the end there, you know, I, I called him up. Uh, my brother and I would call him and, and just, it was basically, we all knew it was, it was a phone call to say goodbye. Um, but I think he had heavily un under anticipated how much he meant to myself and my brother before this phone call and it made him quite emotional in a good way though like on the phone um that we would go to the effort to actually call him from australia to say goodbye i think you know obviously he's an older guy he's that generation where like a phone call from australia almost feels like a big thing like to us it's us younger generation it's nothing but if you were born in a time when there was no such thing as mobile phones you know then things like that mean more um, so we said, you know, we said goodbye and his sons told us later, like it meant the world to him. It really meant a lot to him. And, and we had no idea this was going to happen. We were just calling to pay our respects and, you know, unfortunately say goodbye to a friend. Um, and the night that he passed, my brother and I just went out for a, a bit of a walk and, you know, you, you're in a bit of a strange mood, right? When somebody passes that, you know, and stuff. So we went for a walk, just have a bit of a chat and remembering some of the good times we'd had with him as such. Um, and we stood there, we were overlooking Perth City from this nice viewpoint, not far from our house. And the shooting star just passed right across the, the skyline. And uh, it just, I, I, I've not ever seen one in the city like that, with the light pollution and such. In the whole time I've lived here, 11 and a half years, I've never seen one in the city like that. And to me, it just felt like it was almost him saying goodbye to us. Like, just giving us a little sign, a little thank you for... Uh, you know, for, for saying goodbye to him and, and it meant so much to him. And uh, I've never seen one since either. So, I don't know, it's just kind of a weird thing. Like I say, not really anything to the same extent as what you guys are talking about, but it was kind of an interesting thing nonetheless. And, uh, yeah, kind of a weird experience. But there you go. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm losing my car. Where did it go? It's down here. I always lose my car. I reckon car should show up on the map. As an icon, just permanently. And you never lose it. Oh. Grading here. Come on. Get, get me in here. But yeah, I certainly think we, we, we just do not know how much we don't know about everything. Right? Like, if you look back hundreds of years, 
well, we laugh at the things they used to think and the medical practices they used to perform that they thought were safe and healthy and now we laugh at them and think wow you guys didn't know what you were doing in a couple hundred more years i'm sure they'll be doing the same to us like and that's that's what i say like in a thousand years or two thousand years or a million years what would it be like then you know uh well castellian i'm counting myself in that category and i am 30 in about two months time two months and one day in fact and i turned 30. <laughs> it's an interesting thought my goodness Oh, really, Akadava? Well, uh, yeah, I like that thought. Um, I'm going to have to include that on my modded server because I think that would be quite useful. Particularly the uh, carts, but the ships as well would be good because I always like have to try and remember when I take my ship to some new place to actually like put in the icon on the map. Where's the lumen? There we go. To see it. Uh, getting old is a strange idea. Well, you never get old. You just get slightly older, right? At all times. Um, it's that old philosophical thought, right? That you wouldn't say a 21-year-old is old, right? So what if he's 21 years and one second? Well, no, he's still not old, right? And every time you add one second, he's still never going to turn old, right? And it's like, there's no possible way of drawing the distinction, you know? If that makes sense so you're always you're always young if, if that makes i don't know maybe i'm talking rubbish at this point we should have a, a sound effect for that for sure <laughs> that happens several times a stream uh you're not old i don't nobody's old you're only as old as you feel right you're only as old as you let yourself think you are that's 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 the one In my head, I'm I'm still 18 and always will be. <laughs> At some point, you're old. I don't know what what point would that be though. You know, your daughter's almost 30 and you're still not old. There you go, Finn. That's that's the attitude. That's the can-do attitude. <laughs> your nieces and nephews think you're old. Yeah, but when you're a kid, you think everybody's old. Everybody who's like older than 20. Oh, that's awesome, Finn. That's so cool. If I ever have a kid, they're gonna they're gonna get into YouTube. <laughs> I'll start doing YouTube videos and stream with them and stuff. Yeah, I agree with that, Rugged. I think that's it exactly. It is all how you think and how you feel. Uh, I, my nan when she was 60 just as well have been 100 the way she thought oh, i can't do that oh i'm too old for that i can't do this my dad is 61 right now and uh he still plays soccer every single sunday <laughs> you know he goes on these long bike rides and he's lifting weights in the gym and stuff super fit guy uh, for his age super fit guy but like in general just for any age he's pretty fit you know so uh yeah so it's all mindset Mindset and keeping yourself fit, I think. Jess, you might be. You might well be. Yeah, we got a we got a mature audience in this evening. <laughs> I think Valheim in general does attract an older audience. <laughs> Excuse me, uh than than Minecraft does. I was called Oom, Uncle, uh, by a 15-year-old when I was in my early 20s in a restaurant. <laughs> what, what, uh, what language is that? Oh, hey, Great Wolves. Um, can you stop destroying my things, please? Get away from the car. Step away from the vehicle. Thank you. Uh, where am I here? Afrikaans. Oh, okay. Afrikaans, I believe, is spoken in South Africa, right? You guys speak that and English. I think that's correct. So, there we go, South African language. I've heard a mixed review about South Africa. Uh, South Africa. I would like to go. Um, I've been up to very northern um, uh, Africa. I went to Morocco. Um, Marrakesh and then off into the mountains nearby there. It was a fantastic experience. 
Uh, I was actually there during uh, Ramadan as well, which was interesting. Um, you know, being someone who uh, who doesn't hasn't experienced that sort of culture and stuff before. Uh, my first night there, we went to the local market, walking along, and out of nowhere, a monkey jumped on my head and grabbed onto my head. I should try and find that picture. I've got it somewhere. I'll have to show you guys. This monkey just jumped on my head and clung. <laughs> because my friends thought this was hilarious. And they were uh, too busy taking pictures rather than trying to get it off of my head. Um... It was, uh, it was an interesting trip. I would love to go back there one day, though. I'd love to revisit the, uh, the little town we went to up in the, up in the mountains. Beautiful place. I was talking before about shooting stars. The, uh, the place we stayed, the town there had electricity only two weeks prior to us getting there had it had electricity installed. We went there thinking there wasn't going to be any electricity. So it was actually a bonus. Um, so the light pollution, I mean, there's nothing around for miles. No other, like, towns, very few people. It's literally right up in the mountains. It was a six-hour drive on a bus outside of Marrakesh, right? So it's proper, like, up in the mountains. Uh, so you saw a full bed of stars at night. Oh, oh my god, that really scared <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that scared me so much. I really made me jump. Oh, jeez. Thank you, Aya. That, was... Ooh, that changed the vibe. That was... Oh, man. <laughs> Good job you didn't play a jump scare. I think that might have killed me. If Baby Shark was doing that. Love the emotes there, Haley. They... Where did you get this from? They're brilliant. Oh, all right. Blimey, my heart's pumping. Alright, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm all good. We good. What was I, uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so you, so you can see a full bed of stars because there was no light pollution. And I was literally seeing like a dozen or so shooting stars every single night. We were sleeping on the roof of this little, uh... uh it was supposed to be like a hotel. It was basically this place where this guy, this local guy lived with, I think, five wives he had. And uh, travelers could stay there and stuff for uh, a small fee each night. Uh, which is cool. Hey, Finn, thank you so much for uh, subscribing, mate. I appreciate that. Welcome along to the You know what? First sub. You'll get this coming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely, definitely need that fanfare playing fee, sir. Uh, but no, thank you for the support. I do appreciate that. And, uh, um, yeah, welcome along. Enjoy your emotes. <laughs> and your ad-free viewing. Not that I ever actually play ads, to be fair. But when you click on my streams, you won't have to get an ad. If Twitch tries to play one, you can be like, no, no, no. Um, and you get a little badge by your name. Sexy badge. TK badge. The coveted. Sought after. <laughs> it's it's none of those things. But it's it's all right. It's, it's, it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> um yeah but anyway so this awesome experience night times we would lie there for like hours just looking at the shooting stars very very cool um and a very interesting rewarding experience going there and uh the people there did not speak a word of english we didn't speak a word of their dialect it's not even really a recognized language um i think the teacher we were with said it was like the closest you can get is corsican because we were like, we had to go and do like research. It was part of a Duke of Edinburgh award thing. And we were like, well, couldn't we just ask the locals for the answers on day one and then spend the other days just like holidaying? And he was like, well, can any of you speak Corsican? And I said, of course I can. And this teacher didn't particularly like me because <laughs> I talked a lot in class, but he liked that joke. And from that day on, he liked me a lot more. <laughs> we sort of bonded. It started with that one joke. And then I was playing cards with him on the six hour bus journey the next day to get him up into the mountains uh, to pass the time. This bus, my goodness, it was such a rickety bus. There was no aircon, and it's like 
getting close to 50 degrees Celsius when we went. It was a really hot time of year. Um, and we're on these mountainous roads where you've got like mountain this side of you and drop that will definitely kill you this side of you with like no rail and stuff. And this guy was driving like he didn't want to live anymore. He's going so fast around the corners and stuff. And we're so cramped in this bus. Like, we, I was sat here. My, that teacher was actually sat opposite me. Just the way it worked out. Wasn't really out of choice or whatever. And when we, we were playing cards and we were able to use our legs. Like, my legs, the guy next to me, the guy next to me this way. And he was the same. as like a table for our game of cards. Because we were that squashed in. That they could, the cards and stuff weren't falling through our legs and stuff. It was madness. But, uh, but a fantastic experience, you know. Like, one of those things that would be, like, great to go back and relive. Yeah, Jess, it definitely gets stuck in your head. Baby shark. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Haley will tell you all about another song that can get very stuck in your head. You and you and you. Put that there. No, don't cross it out. Oh, wait. I'm going to name it. Cut while I go and repair my pickaxe because there's a lot of stone around here. That's a smart thing to do. We're going to do that. Oh my goodness, Corte, and I can't imagine. <laughs> that'd, that'd be nasty. I hate your friends and they hate me too. One of these days, I'm just going to let loose on stream and be like, so, you. <laughs> the day I'm done with, with streaming. Are these going to keep growing here now? Am I going to have little mushrooms in my blooming house and dandelions? Jeez. I'll put a rug over them or something. Stupid game. I'm just kidding. I love this game. Oh, look. A little light of hope. <clears throat> All right. We are repairing the pickaxe. Something I, uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of, I suspect. And actually, we can drop off all this nonsense we're carrying around with us as well. So, like, you go in there. Farming, there's all kinds of things. You and you and you. That wasn't even on purpose, that one, Haley. Believe it or not, here at the Naughty Shop. Random little reference to the show I used to watch when I was younger. That I don't even fully remember right now. So many childhood shows I used to love that I've just totally forgotten about. Uh, right, we could do with some more foodage. So, food me up, oh mighty fooder. Better known as a cauldron. Carrot soup all the way. Don't mind a bit of that stamina. For uh, for everything we're doing in Valheim. Looks like the uh, the devs, uh, you know, I did, I did make a video about this, but they are changing up stamina and health and stuff and the way it's going to be used and interacted with and whatever in the game. So that's kind of interesting. And, uh, and blocking is also going to change. They're going to be doing a video about that uh, pretty soon, apparently, which I am pretty excited to see. Always excited to see um, new things. Food me up, almighty food. <laughs> uh, yes. That is, uh, that's what I say when I walk into a restaurant, I just go, I am Kaizen. Food me up, almighty fooder. And I'm like, if you don't know who I am, then I can't help you. All right, so it's just me and Mr. No Sleep Online. This guy. No sleep and no chat. It's a bad combo. A little building tip. Here we go. Put the edge of the floor as you have it, but rotate the inner floor 45 degrees and set it slightly below the edge on the side floor wait i gotta figure that one out all right so put the edge of the floor as you have it all right she so must be talking about this floor right here all right okay so here all right get my hammer then what am i doing now um rotate the inner floor 45 degrees and set it slightly below the edge on the side floor to not clip it in so fight like well, let's just do it on like a bit that's got like look here right so to have that there, if I rotate it at 45 degrees, it'd be there, right? How'd that go on work? What? What? You, what? 
Because then it's... And I'd have to shift and place it down like that. Like that? I don't know. Also, I'd have to do the whole floor like that. Fill in the blanks. It'd have to look blooming good for me to redo all this. But you know what? I'll give it a go in a sec. This little patch here that we haven't done yet. When I come back with stuff in a bit, we'll give it a try. So one thing I'd really like Valheim to add in is brightness settings. Because from streaming and content creation point of view, if you're doing things in the dark, like in dungeons and stuff, or at night time like now, it's just like, it's too dark. Like, it's not the best viewer experience. Um... But one, I need to actually add a filter to help with that. I'll do that. I can't do it right now, but before I next stream, if I remember, which I almost definitely won't unless I write it down. So, where is my... Where did my pen go? There it is. Um, Matt, you're out of ink pen, really? Okay, this should be enough. That... That'll kind of work-ish. Wow, that's awesome, Goblin. Uh, I actually recently started making an effort on Reddit. Uh, man, the community on there can be vicious. They're an unforgiving bunch. <laughs> um, it's been mostly supportive, though. But uh, I think I've just been spoiled on YouTube. People on Reddit are a little bit more... Uh, you know, direct, should we say? Bear has back arrived. He's back. Yeah, Valheim, Valheim Plus, uh, I think, is definitely being sponsored by Eklavada. Uh <laughs> But no, I think uh, all good. It's, uh, I, I like I say, when I do my modded server, I'll definitely be looking at that. Um, but this is, like, meant to be just a pure vanilla experience. Uh, particularly as I make content and stuff, people get funny with mods. Like, oh yeah, you built the really cool thing, but you use mods, so anybody could do that. Or whatever. Which I understand to a point, to be fair. I, don't, I did a silly voice, but I do kind of get what they're saying. Alright, cut. Whoa, look at that, he's jumping all over my cart, because he's angry, he's on fire. Stupid brute. How are you doing, Cart? He's not too bad. Can we make a little workbench here? We can. Repair you. Awesome source. And then we can just like take it down. Uh, if we want to later on. Okay. Um, I think if we grab our cart, we'll actually... Uh, sorry, I didn't need to really make this. No more. But we'll head back and we'll take... Uh, Take the cart with us and stuff, because I think we've got enough stone to potentially finish the floor. And also, what we'll do, as I say, like, on the way when we find stone here, we'll just stop and mine it. And yeah, fair enough, Aquavada. I get that. I, I need to make sure I play a lot of vanilla as well, because no matter how good a mod is and whatever, vanilla is always going to be by far the most played game, and, you know, that's why I need to make sure I make content that is for uh, for those people. Right, but I will be looking to add modded in to my repertoire, particularly with the the uh, modded public server that I'm looking at opening up and such. So yeah, we shall see. Um, do you need anything, guys? Is there any help grinding? Do I need any help? I don't think. I don't know. I think we got the stone. I think I'm just gonna be building. I pretty much have all that stuff. Hmm. I think I'm. All G right now, but I will let you know. Thank you. People are so friendly on the server, which is awesome. We have a great community on here, we really do. Alright, let's get back into the cart here. Yeah, Valheim's like Minecraft was years ago when Mojang didn't do frequent updates and the modded community just grew like massive because of that whereas nowadays modded minecraft there's still definitely a big community there don't get me wrong but it's like a lot of people just enjoy the vanilla stuff and they do updates more regularly and they've added in 
a lot of stuff that modded used to do. Yeah, they've gotten a lot closer in Minecraft to having things like backpacks. Um, they've added in like extra animals, you know, bees and goats and glowing signs now and the glow squids and stuff. Oh, you're listening to the broadcast? All right, Bear. You know what? That makes my life so much easier. I can just talk to you here. Hello, Bear. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think I'm all good, mate. I um, just uh, just going to try and start building this. I, I don't really know what I'm doing. So as I go through, I might find something I need to go and grind out. We shall see. Whoa, how did I not see you? Come here, man. That's right, you did. I got OP gear. How about that? How'd you like my Iron Mace now? I wonder if uh, in the new update, I don't think they are, but I, was just, I wonder if they're going to add in any new creatures. I'd be surprised if they did. Be incredibly surprised if they added a new boss. I don't think that's happening, but uh, unless they're doing it as like a well-kept secret. But yeah, I wonder if there'll be any new creatures at all. As I say, I don't think so. I think it's, yeah, Hearth and Home is just that, right? It's about more like building and such than gameplay. All right, little cut. We're going to go on another big drop. Let's do it. Whee! There it is. I treat my cart so well. There should be a button to flip carts in the future, I reckon. Yeah, Finn, I think so. I think I think that's it. It's it's mostly that type of thing. <laughs> I've messed my car. Up. I might just need to uh, to break it and then rebuild it. Is that is that gonna be the, the thing? A horse would be cool, yeah. Or if a tamed boar could pull a car. I know there's some mods out there that do that. That that type of thing could be cool. All right, I give up. Let's let's break this thing. Hydrate. Thank you, edit. Mm. Tasty. And good for the immune system. It's win-win. All right. Let's go ahead and make the cart back up. Put you up there. This is a workbench. Where's my workbench? Radius. There. Oh, there we go. Um, so I just want need to like, like open you. Put the stuff back in. Open you. Stoof back in. And repeat the process. A mule, yeah. Mules, horses, stuff like that could be kind of cool. Animals that you could get working for you. I'd really like in Valheim. Be uh, a jungle biome. You can have like melons and parrots and pumpkins and all kinds of jungly stuff. I don't know. I think it'd be kind of cool. All right, let's see what you were saying before. I can't remember who was saying this now about the flooring because I'm not sure I knew what you were on about. But we're going to try it. So um, let's just do a little corner like over here. So instead of like that, you said 45 degrees. So it'd be like that. Let's really zoom in here and then down a bit lower. So let's see if we get uh, this out. You like that? And then you fill in these bits. Is that the idea? So I could place like a full one there. That there would have to go like that. Oh, it's because I'm... I wonder what's happening. It was because I was at the uh, thing. Okay. Is this so, so it, like, makes, like, a little pattern? Uh, water Plantony! All right, thank you, War Coast. Let's give Plantony some love. Um... I need to get this set up a bit better because you guys can't really see right now. I am watering him. But um, we're going to get a, like a new camera and stuff set up him soon. But thank you, Warghost. I did water him. Um, so I need to put it a little lower. Okay, I hear you. But um, then it would look like that. I don't know. It's okay. 
But I don't know if it's going to be worth me redoing this entire floor. I think if we do that, I'll, I'll do it at a later date. Because I'm like... Oh, let's go here. I'm like this close to finishing, so I'm like... Yeah. You can hear the watering? You can? Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't, I didn't know the mic would pick that up. But yeah, just because we're this close to finishing... Uh, gold bullet, I think uh, I want to just get this finished, but then... It might be something we edit later on when we get into the, the finer details of the house or something. Because once we place all the stuff on top of it, then uh, we can edit just the bits that are still showing. So it'd be like quicker and easier too. Big brain. Kind of. A little bit. I'm hoping as we build... Yeah, there we go. Although we were burdened, we soon changed that. Uh, if you do it like that, you get an angle inside the entire house. Use the walls will be straight. And the floor will be uh, an angle. Okay, well. I'll see I'll see as I go through. But like like I'm I'm not like if I if I build this and I'm like, you know what, I want to change it. I'll take it all down and I'll rebuild it. I'm cool with that. But as we're just like we were just a couple of rows off finishing this, right? So I'm just like I'll just finish it for now. Because what I actually want to do first anyway is get the walls done. The structure of the house. Uh, that one's a bit too high, I think. That looks a bit better. There we go. Um, in fact, let's get the hoe and go through here. Looks like there's a few bits here that are too high. So it's hard when you're doing this to get it all the same level just at the flattening stage. It's more at this stage when you're doing this that the uh, abnormalities become clear. Got a beautiful morning here in the game. Uh, my eye has been hurting, so I don't know what's going on with it. But I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, Alright, we need some stone. Stone is quite an expensive thing to build out of. Like, these are six stone per one of these slabs. So, you can see, like... How many here? Hello, Uncle Squirrel. Dude, you make every stream. Come on now. <laughs> You're always here, and I really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you for coming back. Time and time again. Much love for that. How are you going today, mate? We get that. There we go. Stuffing in there. Oh my god, almost done. Hey, Ash, are you still in the stream? I don't know if you're, uh, if you're here or if you went off. Let's find out. Almost, see a few more. Two, three, and four. Yes. Floor done. Step one complete. Hmm. <laughs> to be fair, kind of step two, because we had to level all this first. That was step one. That took a long time. I did that over the last couple of days. Just during the day while I was chilling. There we go. Okay, cool. So, now, we are going to build the house, I think, out of wood still. The reason I like wood for a modern build is, I'll show you guys what I'm thinking here. And you guys can let me know what you think. And yes, girl, I'm very good, thank you very much. Having, having a great day. All kinds of sound effects and things happening here. I'll water plant if you know. He's getting a good water tonight. Plant is a very happy lad right now. Yeah, so today, Squirrel, I got this. And which means I can do all kinds of fun things right here uh, on my stream deck, which is very fun. And so I've been having some fun with that. You'll hear some more things soon. Yeah, I've triggered you to do stone walls uh, with towers around your main base. Don't curse me. Come on now. Um, right, so the reason I'm thinking wooden walls is for this reason, right? If we do it with wood, we can do stuff like this. We can have overhanging stuff, right? With the way that the um, the the physics of building works and stuff on this game. If we do stone, everything needs to be kind of connected and, and whatever. So I think wood is going to be the way to go. Um, if we went with stone... And my point is, if you go with stone, you can build up like this. But if you want to do something kind of fun, it's not going to happen. 
That being said, as I've placed those pillars, I really like them. And I'll tell you what I like, actually, is when people do these pillars, and then they encase them with with wood, like that, right? I think that can look really uh, pretty cool. So, maybe we want these pillars in part of the house. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go with just wood first, and uh, try out something that I had in, like, a vision in my head. We'll see if that works. You can do overhang if you use arcs. True true um i guess it's more i've got this idea in my head that i'm trying to build right and that's why i'm that's where i'm at where i'm thinking it's going to be a mixture of windows big windows and wooden walls basically so we'll see how this works <laughs> wish me luck all right can we get place some there great i think the only way to do this is to just start building it we're gonna make a lot of mistakes and then we'll redo it. Okay, so that will go up to there. And I think I'm going to want a third one. We just build this up. Damn you. Damn you, Valheim game. Okay, there we go. So at that point, what I want to happen is this to come over now what I think I can do let's leave that there a sec so then if I had this here you guys might be starting to see what I'm thinking for a bit of a modern design thing here so if I put you there like that get a couple of you built up you on there so from the front like this is going to be windows through here this will be windows here and it'll kind of wrap around i think this could be kind of cool i'm kind of going off some stuff that i've done with modern house designs in minecraft but trying to get them into valheim is going to be a challenge right now i get that it was <clears throat> excuse me Oh boy. Yeah, right now I get that it looks kind of weird. But bear with me, guys. Have faith. Alright, so then up there, that would go there. Oh, I'm sorry, Squirrel. I probably missed it. Um, please do ask here. And uh, I'll do my best to uh, give you a good answer. Yeah, comments and stuff on YouTube. I, I try to always read them stuff, but I definitely miss some from time to time, depending on when they're commenting and stuff as well. Alright. I'm just going to go with this and we'll make it a little bit after. The water comes right up here, by the way. As you kind of see. Uh, I don't know if I have or not Gold Bullen. I might have done. I've seen a lot of Valheim videos on, on YouTube, to be fair. You know, I've watched a lot of it, so uh, it's entirely possible, but I'm not 100%. All right, let's get that to the edge. And then can we do this here? And then this might be time to do that. We'll hold that. There's a bit more of a window like that. Okay, kind of cool. Uh, do you know if they'll focus uh, on a class more now? So if you want to be tanky with shields and armor, if you want to focus on bows being faster... Uh, so you can isolate uh, more towards what you want to focus. I think to an extent, Squirrel, yes. Um, I I know as much as anybody else. Like, they do not give me any, like, insider information or anything like that, right? So just going off of the update videos and stuff, they have said they're going to try and tailor things more to people's play styles. Um, so, like, if they are more into wanting to tank as opposed to just going, like, all out, you know, attacking or whatever... There's new ways of doing that. There's going to be foods and different blocking styles and all this kind of stuff. So, I, yeah, I, th I think they are looking at going down that route to basically cater more to different people's play styles, whatever they may be. Um, I certainly think that would be a nice nice idea, a nice move. But, um, yeah, I guess we shall see. Um, all right, so that's 
this looks this looks weird this could turn out very badly but hopefully not i think what i want to do is do the wall like this build it quick enough should be good now i kind of get one more out of you if i do this 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 and that are you going to stay standing For like a corner do you guys get what I'm going for here with this modern kind of thing? Like these holes are kind of glass and I might need to put beams and stuff on, on them. We'll have a look at that. And then glass integrated with wood, kind of, sort of. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think, guys? Am I completely loopy or is this maybe going to look okay? So I want to go one, two, if I can get three in there, which I think I can just about, then start you there. Uh, it makes sense if they do be called cool Yeah, I think so. I, I do think it's looking like it's going that way. Um, but yeah, they certainly don't give me any inside information or anything like that. I, I wish. <laughs> I wish they did. I would pay good money for that. There we go. Yeah, it's not an ideal material. That That is true. Looks like I'm typing a word with wood. This, this could be disastrous. You know what? We're going to go with it for a little bit and we'll see, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Maybe uh, either way, I'll be able to make a good video, right? Because the video will either be uh, made a cool Valheim modern house, whatever, or it'll be I wasted six hours in Valheim building this monstrosity. Either way, people are going to click that, right? And, and enjoy that. We should be good. <laughs> uh, right, stick a bit of you back. Let's see, what, what word would this look like? I guess that's like an O. That's almost a T. And this is kind of an S, so STO. STO. STOP, maybe? Maybe that's a, maybe that's a subliminal message to myself. <laughs> or a bit of an omen. Just, just, just stop, guys. This is not going to look good. Alright, they've given you all this stuff so you can build really nice Viking builds. And you're trying to build something that ain't in the game. And, uh, and you're messing up. That, that's what the game, I think, is telling me at this stage. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Alright, let's see what we're going to do here. I need to get this going quick for the weight bearing. Do one of those. <laughs> if they had glass in the game, I think that would help a lot, right? If I could put glass in here. Then maybe we'd be onto something. But alas, they do not have glass. So we're going to just... We're just going on with this. Um, in terms of these windows, I mean, I don't know if we just build them... Maybe with crosses? All through? Like, how would it look if we did this bit here? I'm already nervous about this. Okay, let's... <laughs> with crosses. It looks like a blooming derelict house, doesn't it? That's the problem. That is not going to be the answer, is it? Good lord, I hope not. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's let's pretend that didn't happen. I'll try and edit that bit out of the video. If that made the video, if you're watching this on YouTube at some point, and that made the video, then this didn't go well. Doors as windows, says Bear. Let's, let's see. I did kind of think about that, but then... Because, like, they'd have to be open. And then it's like... That... Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's kind of big enough inside that we could build another rim here. Although, is that going to be a faff and a half or what? I don't know. What if we open them the other way? Do I think they'll add glass? I don't think so. I just think it's going to feel a bit too modern for them. Um, I really like them too, but I don't think they will, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, the window options. If only there was a good video on YouTube showing you all different Valheim window options. <laughs> the other thing I thought about was, like, just fence. Which is going to be a little tricky to get right, but like, let's not worry too much about getting it right for now. Let's just try and get it in. But you know what I mean? Like, you could put the fence in here like this. I don't know. This is, uh... Turning into an interesting build project, to say the very least. That would probably have to go the other way now. Like that. Oh, yes. The one damn sexy window right there. 
Let's again destroy this. This never happened. It was not here. Angled beams. What, like that? Oh, hang on. If I can place it correctly. The problem is, I think, it needs. To, it kind of would look better if it was offset. I think, and it's hard to do that. But, you know what I mean? Because, like, that's... Actually, that's probably my favorite so far. Um, you know? Hmm. <laughs> the other thought, the, I did consider Iron Gates. Um, for the briefest of moments, because... Four iron per gate times many windows equals unhappy Kaizen. Because I got a <laughs> serious grind ahead of me if we go down that route. Right, so the, uh, like that. But it would look cool and modern. Oh no. Am I really going to do that to myself though? Good lord, that is going to be one heck of a build project. But look at, oh my god, it's going to be iron beams, guys. I think it's going to have to be iron beams. Uh, I, why don't I call them iron beams? Iron doors. Um, someone said the 26 degree thing. Oh, we'll try that as well. Um, I just Nothing's going to compare to iron, is it? You can see as we're doing this. It's not like any of this necessarily looks bad, although I wouldn't say this looks great. I'm not going to be doing that, I don't think. Flipping Nora, that is a lot. That is a real lot of iron if we go down that route I'm cringing at the thought but it just looks so good right alright um, other than that we're running pretty short of options right now other than if we just manually made windows like this um, and maybe we could decorate the outside to prevent any mobs from getting in i mean this is more just about a modern house build not necessarily something that's super functional and stuff right and i just wonder whether if we just frame them like this it's a little bit hard to tell with the rain and stuff right now whether that's gonna look all right though as as an option you know and this might actually be be better it just gives the sort of this is a window vibe without the like hours and hours grind that would be required. Do I want to sleep? Uh, I can do is... Oh, it's just me and you online now. Um... Oh, I know you're watching. I'll just say anyway. Because um, I was just already typing it. So let me just uh, place down the rest of this real quick. And we can have another look at this. See, I think that looks terrible. As, as, as modern windows. It's just the fact that it's an actual gap. Whereas iron would provide a bit of a barrier. Obviously in the iron doors. But maybe that's at least a solution in the interim. While we do the grind. If we do get on the iron route. Because that's... Um, it's going to make me sad. <laughs> I don't even know if there's enough iron left on this. Uh, there probably is. But still. Uh, it's a bit of a... You know, there's going to be a lot of streaming with you guys, that's for sure. Put another frame slightly deeper, it will look cool. Alright, we can try that in a second. I'm just going to dry off and have a snooze. In my little start town bed. That's where I'm sleeping at the moment. The trolls who raided me and destroyed my other bed and stuff, I just kind of haven't got around <laughs> repairing it yet. I got, on, I got started with this new build and I got really into it and I was like doing all the flattening and resource gathering stuff and I was like, yeah, that had that had to take preference. Oh, wait. In bed. Ugh. You get to have the rested buff back as well, actually. <laughs> Excuse me. Sleepy. Oh wait, bear, did bear ping me? There. What the heck's happening? All right. Ah. Um. Oh my god. Right. There are four creeps here. 
not open yet. Oh, wait, where is he pinging on the map? Aha, right. Up there. Thank you for that, I appreciate that. Um, I'll put a little fire, I guess. I, um, four times. Great. That's a little reminder. Appreciate that, Bear. Thank you. Enemies nearby? Shut up. We'll be fine. Yeah, so maybe that's what we'll have to do. Go up and do a load of crypts. Um, wait, where is that, though? I'd have to sail from there. It's not too far, to be fair. I mean, there's a big map. That's not too far. From here to there. Huh? Could be a lot worse. If you take a look at a window uh, IRL, you'll have the beam as a frame, then another beam that is the window frame. Okay, I can, I can, I can appreciate that. Yeah, that that doesn't uh, that doesn't sound odd. Hey, are you sleeping, Bear? Um, yeah, we'll we'll definitely try that when we when we get out there, uh, Bullen, Gold Bullen. But um, I I definitely think the the wood beams are. A pretty good interim for like <laughs> rather than <laughs> that iron man i'm just dreading the thought of doing that hey um all right so we're gonna be going to sleep in a sec you know what? while i'm lying here asleep i'd probably be doing a bit reminiscing about some of the good old times let's play a little bit of The good old days. That's what I'm thinking of right now. There is something about that sound effect. I just picture it being used in a commercial for like butter or something. You know? Jack's butter. And it's like the farmer comes walking in from a uh, hard day's work, sits down and the Jack's butter gets spread on the bread. And he just looks at his wife and, you know... And then there'll the overlay. Jack's butter. Bringing families together. Or some rubbish about how butter can, you know, bring families closer together and put a man on the moon and cure cancer or something. There's ridiculous things that these advertisers say. But, um, you know, <laughs> that's that feel. Uh, maybe that's just my imagination running wild. There, it's gonna be, it's gonna be daytime, my man. Where are you at? Where is he? He's, he's a busy bear. There he is. I feel like uh, sometimes on the server, maybe we're both in bed. Doesn't even work. Ending on a nice sunset over the farm. Yeah, you get it. Haley, Haley, nice. Um, uh, thank you so much, uh, Anacronos. Anacronos, probably, 67. Um, appreciate that. Um... Bear said he's gonna sleep, but I don't know what's uh I don't know what's happening. I think it's like it's gonna be daytime soon, maybe so. Might just leave it. Um see where he is here. Oh, here we go. Uh someone must be on. Oh, someone could be on and not visible. Ah, uh, right, okay, that could be a thing. Man, this one player sleep is gonna be so good when we have it. I can't wait. Come on. I wanna see if it was like it was all right, I'm done. Sure. We'll go back. We'll cancel the sleep plans. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming on over to Switch as well, Anacronus. Uh, appreciate that. Jess, thanks for stopping by and uh, catching another stream. Enjoy your footage. Uh, let's see. Let's actually repair some stuff before we go back to the thing. We'll take another look at those windows and things. <laughs> the dreaded windows. Nah, we'll, we'll get there. We'll figure it. Oh, I need to eat some food, actually. Like, not IRL. In-game, in I mean. Again, something else I, like, always forget, right? So, give me all of that. Oh, I should got some honey. Uh, basically, Squirrel, if one player on the server sleeps, it will just skip night time. Which will be lovely. Yeah, I am. Lovely. But, uh... <laughs> but, yeah. Alright, so you were saying... We got a thing here, and we need another one. A little further back, well, like, here? Is that what you're kind of thinking? If I, like, get that just right like that? So it makes it thicker? Is that what you were talking about? You can try it out. 
No harm in trying. Yeah, they do screw up. Yeah, so it'll skip for the whole server all in one go. And it'll be daytime. It just means if there's like 20 people on a server. Um, uh, no need to shift it in on top of it. Not sure what you mean. You, was this like the thing you were thinking though? Like this? Actually, this might look good on the outside. Because see how it makes it, it bolsters it and brings it out. That'd give the window some depth. Like, look at this, right? If I do this here. Right in there. I reckon this could be good. So maybe we'll even keep it like this and we'll do three wide for each of them. Um, but yeah, we'll just give it a lot of... A bit of chunk, right? And a bit of uh, just chunk. That's a new thing that I, I just said. Yeah, this could be good. Put it next to the other beam inside the window slightly back. Well, what about this? I think I kind of like this. I think this 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 might look good as windows because it's like it sticks out a bit. I think it's got a modern feel to it potentially. Let me think about all that. Yeah, Finn, we kind of do the same, but it's a bit of a pain. And to have a one-player sleep plugin will just be nice, and uh, it'll just speed things up for everybody. All right, so I think uh, over here, I kind of want to try something out, which is to do... Actually, I've got to think about this. If I'm going to do that sort of window design, if I do that, is that going to work? Possibly, yeah. Okay. Um, if you need anything from the market, go ahead and take out a chest. Awesome. I appreciate that, Bear. Thank you very much. Uh, he is listening to this stream, so I can talk to him here, if you guys are wondering. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Let's get rid of that, and then you there, you there, get rid of that. Almost like a dice pattern with these windows. I just want to mix it up, have no two walls the same, right? All these different areas built out in a, in a different way uh, to keep a good bit of, like, variety going. So we get rid of that. And that. So we like a little uh, check of the little pattern going on here. Um, and then I think the fun stops at the corner and there's a fueling no there's not, there's a lot of fuelings alright, the fun definitely stops at the corner how the heck are there fuelings here and you know what, I'm not going to be able to fight these dudes just yet let me go back here, need some better food Okay. Yeah, true, Finn. I thought that was um, it's a bit of an odd thing that they've done that, you know. Um, right, we'll eat the last one of you. And can I eat you? Not yet. I'll take one with me. I'll take some honey with me as well. Uh, Zazov, thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. Um, okay, the other thing I want to do actually is real quick. Change abilities here. Because this Elder Ability ain't going to do us any good for a while anyway. Um, but yeah, certainly like having to copy and paste each time and then type in the password and stuff seems a bit strange. Don't know why. Uh... I, again, I think it just comes down to them not predicting the whole thing about being geared up for uh, for so many people playing this game. No one who develops a game with a six-man team predicts over seven million copies are going to sell within like six months <laughs> which is entirely fair enough so yeah i might get rid of my uh stream loots i just saw the notification for it there it's, it comes up a lot and i'm like I don't, know, I don't think people are that interested in that anymore would anybody be horribly offended if i did uh, i just i think there's maybe better way better things we could have instead yeah, I bet they were crazy shocked. Like, uh, and almost probably in panic mode a bit over the last few months, trying to get everything together and work on the update. And all of a sudden, the like the gaming world, all eyes were on them. You know, and the pressure was on. 
So, uh, yeah, it would have been scary. Um, like, to a much, much smaller extent. Like, I feel a bit the same about making content on Hearth and Home. There's, like, an expectation I've built up now. Um, because I did so much content on that on Valheim that, that got a lot of views and a lot of new people following me and stuff. It's like, I just want to... Hopefully, I can continue to produce videos that people are going to enjoy and lives up to expectations and that sort of thing. Because when I first started doing Valheim, I was, like, you know, just total unknown or whatever. Whereas now, I've sort of uh give myself a bit of a like a name and a reputation in the valheim content community you know so i'm hoping i can keep doing uh doing good stuff i'll certainly try my best but yeah we'll see how we go with that all right let's have a fight shall we oh wait activate bone mass come on my man Alright, it's one down. Black Metal Scrap. My first one on the server, I think. Don't mind a bit of that. Are they, uh... They're all gone. This is a bit of anticlimax. I thought I'd do all this stuff because I might need to, um... Fight them again in the future, right? So at least we get up. No worries, Gold. Thanks for stuck, uh, sticking around for so long and, uh... Being here with us today. Alright, so then in here what I'm going to do is do maybe three windows this and like this. Uh, Echo JB, thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. So I'm just doing this so I can get these built here. Some of these are temporary. Alright, and I'm going to take down the ones on top of here. There we go. So in a minute, I'm going to look to try and incorporate windows with the roof somehow. That's going to be a trick and a half, but um, it might not be possible, which is fine as well. We'll keep the windows from the outside. The other thing is that doing a modern roof, I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work, but I do have an idea. I do have an idea. Famous last words, we shall see. We might not even get to the roof today, but we'll, uh, you know, it just depends. So it's a bit of a build, this. Um, so then I think we want almost like a, a bit of a H shape here. Um, oh, that's... Okay, we could do it like that. And then it would go back on itself. It's going to be an interesting build. Um, kind of like that. Uh, no worries, edit. Enjoy your time with your dog. <laughs> and uh, if I don't see you again, have a, have a good one, bud. Actually, I got an idea. So that would go there. If we go there, there, and there. Are you close to plains? We've been spawning meadows. I think because we've killed Yaglu, feelings will spawn nearby um, to where I'm at. I'm not actually near a plains as such, I don't think. No. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this, so I haven't discovered this whole island yet, but yeah. So yeah, I think at, at night time, maybe they can spawn there or something. Uh, Yukon's Bane, thank you, uh, welcome to the stream, I should say. Alright. I'm just trying to come up with, like, new little designs here, so you can go over there like that. Ah, uh, we need some more wood now. Spawn anywhere after the Agloof? Yeah, okay, thought so. Yeah, basically because we've killed Yagluf, we can get horrible things coming at us at all times now. Um, but that's cool. It makes the game interesting. Keeps it... Um, yeah, you don't get to a certain stage of the game where you're so geared. Uh, well, you kind of do, that everything's easy, I was going to say. But at least it keeps it fresh and mixes it up a bit, right? Like that. Is that going to stay there? Or is that going to... That's going to die, so we need to come up here. And on top of there, which is not going to happen, unless I build scaffolding. The classic uh, Valheim scaffolding. 
I would kind of like them to add in a better scaffolding system for the uh, for the update, but I don't think they will. Which is which is fine. I've gotten used to this now, I suppose. Just just lazy Kaizen would quite enjoy that. Uh, now I already did a corner like that, so I think I need to think of something. Oh, I got an idea. Um, we'll do it from. Well, let's see if we did it from here. But we filled in the corner there and there. Oh well, no, that's going to look rubbish. Uh, all right, that's already red. Okay, what we could do is beam this bit up here. Just to give it that extra support. And then try this. Tetris vibes. I used to love Tetris back in the day. And I still don't mind playing it to this day. Um, Sub Digital, thank you for the follow. Welcome along to the stream. Uh, I, was, I was pretty decent at Tetris back in the day, actually. Not too bad. But, um... Because I spent a long time playing it. Right, that's... Going to be interesting. All of this is subject to change, but for now, we shall leave it. Um plenty of things to try and figure out here all right so the other thing as well is the entrance which i figured would be around about here we can do some stuff out the front then as well like we probably need to um like take down a lot of this terrain um which is entirely fine but uh, just for now this is like where we can plan out the front door which we want to be roughly on this level um so a modern front door i think what we can do for the front door is come back like this. Now, how many blocks are here? So we've got there. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's better. We want odd numbers as a general rule. And come back by three. And then we'll go like this. And then we'll have the door. Now, if we just do doors like this, I don't know how modern that necessarily is. But you can see what I'm going for here. Like a little porchway, and then in we go. Now, we could change them to make them the sort of grand doors by doing the wooden gate thing. Actually, I know what we need. It needs to be an iron gate, doesn't it? Of course. That's what it's got to be. Yeah. Okay. So, that'll be iron gates. The uh, the front door is 100%. Like I said, I'm not sure I want to do every window here as them because that's going to be uh, interesting. Uh, but for the front door, I think double iron gates in there and we're away. So then we just need to look at how we're going to do like, up until this point. So that there will probably need to be built up a little bit, right? And we'll do this like the whole way around for the front door porch area. Make it like a nice little entranceway kind of thing. Actually, no, maybe windows there would be cool. Windows going around there. Yeah, okay, I got an idea. So what we'll do is we'll build this one up on either side. get up to the uh, next level here so we can get on top of here okay across the top here as well all right so that's going to be the entrance and then i think what we can do is do windows at this level so it's like a welcoming front door you've got the windows uh there that are it just makes it a bit more open, a bit friendlier, and yeah, in my opinion, a bit more welcoming. You know what I mean? Rather than just feeling it's all boarded off. And I actually want to do this. It's the one time we do want a bit of symmetry in this build. I think modern builds, symmetry is something you do only on localized areas. Um, but like the overall build shouldn't be symmetrical if you're going mod modern, right? It's my general philosophy for building modern sort of things. Um, but I certainly think we can get away with it just for the front door area. Mm -hmm. This is... If anyone's just logged in or just uh, joined the stream now, they're probably like, what the heck is this guy building? Like, who is this guy? <laughs> um, I hope this works out. Because uh, we could be... I could be left a little bit embarrassed from this build, right? But I, I have high hopes. So we, we shall see. So that'll go up to there. Good 
Okay. Run along here. Frank Lloyd, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. So there we go. The front door, in my opinion now, it almost looks like arms reaching out, right? Greeting you in. It's subliminally very welcoming, in my opinion. I think we I think we have a welcoming front door. Um, so <laughs> that, that to one side. Now we just need to figure out the window here. And do you know what? It could be as simple as that. All right, for this modern vibe thing that we're doing. Honestly, I think that's going to about do it. And on this side, we'll go like this. Um, let's get in here. And let's see you on top. And uh, and yeah, actually, no, just, just that, I think. Hmm. Just wondering whether we make them a little bit different. Don't like that, but maybe just like this. Now, the other good thing about if we were... Let's come and check these windows out now that it's daytime. All right, so if we did them kind of like this, there's a couple of good things about doing this. So first thing is we could, if we wanted to, wrap them around into the roof by building like this, right? And keeping this as a gap and then placing like roof tiles like this, right? So that's an option but at the same time if we want to just close them off here and keep the windows limited to just the walls we can totally do that too so that's one good thing about doing it that way the other good thing is we've got these things that we haven't used at all yet right all of this is without these but if there's areas where we think it will look good to have a sleek sexy kind of window thing like this going on then we can do that right we can make it thinner on that side unfortunately we can't do the same vertically we could only do it horizontally but it does add food for thought and, and extra options and stuff right so i think that's kind of cool and i think we're gonna try and make this a little bit easier the first time of doing a modern build attempt and so i am gonna go for closing the windows off and keeping them on the walls like that right i think that's the way to go and like, for example, here, anywhere that's like this, and we're like, you know what? We need to prevent mobs from getting in. We can do that. So let's do that right now. No worries, screw. Enjoy your food. So we can do that. The mobs aren't going to be able to get in here then. We can use these here to snap on. If I can just get that underneath. Come on, man. There we go. Then we'll still need these. All right. So, snap you on there, you on there. Get these little ones here. We go back inside. Yeah, this is going to be the way to do this, you know. I'm pretty convinced that this is... Uh, as I say, when you're doing something for the first time as well, it sort of makes sense. Make it a little bit easier on yourself. I think that's going to be where to go. A lot of this stuff's going to need repair, and that's the only thing about that. We'll have to figure that out. So, like here... Prevent mobs getting in. Right, just board it all up. Anywhere they can theoretically get in, we board up. And then they do become windows then. They allow in light, but not mobs. They will still allow in the elements. You know, the rain stuff could rain in. Don't think it'll be a huge problem though. The rain in this game doesn't go like crazy sideways or anything. Uh, we need the workbench, just come back inside here. We are in range now. Yes, we are. He's here. And on this one, you might want to do like that, maybe. Like that. Eh, why not? Um, oh, that's going to kind of mess this bit up a little bit, right? Because then these checkers are different sizes. But actually, no, they're not. Because all we'll do is we'll do that there. Do these across the top here. So that kind of makes our life easier for the build anyway. And then put these in here. So now we've got these thinner ones. Yeah. All right. I'm liking this. Uh, we have window designs, guys. Uh, so just along the bottom here. All right. So you, you, you. And now do we want to do the top there? I think so. Yep. Again, simplicity can sometimes be the key. 
then right along here. And I'm actually going to change that and put a panel there. And then go right along the top here. I think that's going to look nicer. Yep, hey dude. Go away dude. That should connect up. Yep, okay, very good. You in there. And you in there. Um, okay, so for this one, with these sort of wrap around windows like this, uh, for these corner bits, what I think, put the, yeah, this should work, but I think we're going to need another support beam out here in order to keep this corner a bit connected up. So let's put you up there, kill you, <laughs> grab your stuff. I don't know if I'm excited or terrified for how this is going to turn out. What do we think, guys? Is this going to, is this going to work out? Is it going to be good or terrible? <laughs> or somewhere in between, maybe. Uh, now, in terms of all these beams that we did over here for the windows, uh, I'll look to add in a lot of those retrospectively. Actually, do you know what? I think this looks nicer on the inside. Did I do the outside of this one? Damn stamina. Need rested buff. Uh, the outside is not done. Like, what do you think looks nicer? This from just from the outside for a second, like with the lip here, right? Or no lip, like this one. What looks better for a modern house design? I'm, I'm in two minds about whether that looks better, like it sticks out a bit or not. What if I could argue it both ways? I do kind of like when it sticks out because you've got a bit more depth to the build. Let me know what you think, lip or no lip. But all of that will do, like, that's kind of decoration, which is so, I always finish with decoration, right? I want to get the structure done first. So once I've got these windows sorted, um, I definitely think at that point, the roof's the big thing. What's the point of, of stacking wood slash stones on the ground? More than anything, it's decorational. Um... Like, you mean like these wood stacks and these stone stacks? It's mostly decorational. Um, you can, it, it's sort of used for storage, but you're really just better to just put the stuff in chests. It'll take up less space. No lip, it has clear lines. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, like I say, I'm in two minds for it. Um, hmm. But like I say, we'll, we'll save that for the uh, finale, <laughs> at the end bit with all the uh, decorational things. For now, we've got a structure. Um, it is lacking in some areas, but like this here, when we do the beams, it will have beams as the roof. So I think it'll be okay. Otherwise, all top windows will be a bit thinner. Now the roof. This is the scary bit. So, how the heck are we going to do the roof? Because it's a fair sized build, right? It's a fair old whack of modern house going on here. Um, and the roofs in Valheim, they like to be like this, not flat like this. Now, for aesthetically, we could just do the, a roof like that. You know, um, but I'm wondering if I can find a design that'll work with a roof. Now, I think that's two slopes, so it's going to have to be one of two things. Either this, still quite sloped, and I'm not going to do a traditional like that, or we could use these potentially. Hmm. We could do floors on top and bottom. Of roofs yeah the floors is an option potentially um obviously it's not a proper roof though i'm wondering if we could get this done where it's all actual roof that'd be cool stone uh we wouldn't be able to get stone up there and kept up there very easily like have to be a lot of arches and stuff and just not sure it's going to particularly work um 
We'll check this out though. Alright, who's online right now? Anyone? Just just like just me. So I'm gonna go and sleep. And we'll check this out in the morning. Uh use floors. Oh wait, we've got black metal on us. So let's uh not fueling whatever that we killed. Use floors with the 26 caps between them. Hmm. That's true. Uh, Aclavada, I have a miniature keyboard kind of thing. Like, I don't have a number pad because I don't like, I like the smaller keyboard. So it means um, pressing F2, I have to press Fn F2. Which actually now I say it is really not that big of a deal. <laughs> I guess I just do things in a weird way sometimes. Um... Okay, we'll try out a few different things, guys. We'll try out some... <laughs> a, a variety of stuff. Oh, wait, is this someone online? Uh... <coughs> oh, Bear, I missed your goodbye message. I'm sorry, if you're still listening. Uh, good night, it's fun hanging out with you too, and I hope you're all good. Um... Let's see if there's anyone online right now. Uh, Yukon's Bane, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Welcome along. Enjoy your new emojis. You do get like five emojis when you follow now, which is kind of cool. I think it's good that Twitch have done that. All right, I think there's someone online who's not uh, not checking chat and stuff. And, uh, and isn't gone asleep, so we'll just get on with our little thing that we're doing. And uh, I guess once the roof's done, comes to the, uh, the the more fun bit, which is all the decorating stuff, and then maybe some like additions to the house. We're right near the water. I was wondering if I could do maybe some sort of deck, maybe a swimming pool, stuff like that. We'll see how all that goes. What is that up there? Yeah, a little bird up there. Okay, so yeah, the roof. Let's um let's just make a bit of a work area here. And it'll make it easier for us to try a few different things out. So pretty much uh we'll try out stuff in this corner, I think. So Well um Well actually what the best thing to do is probably just like snap you onto there. Like that. Getting a bit of a uh, scaffolding thing going. So we come up here. And then we'll have a look. So, uh, some lights maybe. Yeah, we'll definitely need lights and stuff here. I, I guess that's more like the decorational stuff that we'll try out. Um, so, one thing I was thinking if we did this. And then, so then how would I, like for example, if we just do this. Hang on, let's, well no, I fooled. Hey, Tatiana, how are you going? Hope you are well. Why are you not doing what I want you to do? Let me just uh, get a bit closer here. Just woke up. Is it... Uh, I don't know what time it is for you, to be honest. So, it, what I'm thinking is, if we did them all point in the same way like this, right, whether this would work or not. It was just an idea. So, let's let's see how we go. Um, but it would look like this, right? Oh, blimey, right, wood. Wow, that's a big sleep. I assume date night went well then. <laughs> oh dear. I never sleep well. I never get to sleep in long times like this. But then you said you were up for like 24 hours or something before that, right? So, to be fair. Okay, this I think I already hate. But we'll... We'll, we'll try and... 
Working on your base. I'm not surprised. It was a big base. What do you think, guys? Like, if this was a whole way through, how would it? How would it look? How would it feel? I don't know. Definitely in two minds about this, right? Now, the other thing is, what do we actually need roofs for, right? So, they're going to protect the walls, right? And they're going to, um, you know, give us cover for uh, things like our bed and crafting benches and stuff, workbenches. You know what I'm saying. Uh, so... So ideally, yeah, we do need a proper, fully, fully functioning roof. Is this the solution? I don't know. But with them all facing that way, I think it, it, it certainly looks more modern, I would say. From in here, this is what you're going to see. Maybe we should build a bigger area, right? We can, we can test it out. I don't think it's a big enough sample size to have a, a good feel for how it's going to look. Looks kind of jank. I don't know. The other thing I was thinking then was, we use these, and we just repeat them, right? So you just got these roof things like this. Like if I get rid of these, so it would still be triangular a little bit, you know. But it, but it. I don't know, that might work. That's the flattest ones, right? So I think that could be better. Kind of like that. Oh, really? Have I stole your idea, Tatiana? <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, let's let's build a bigger area with what I just did, and it might just be a good solution here. If we can have a proper roof. Fearless looks the first one. Okay. So one vote for this one right now. One vote for this one, I think. Hmm. What does that look like from the side as well? So from the side, you can't really see that one at all, which is kind of cool. The other thing as well is, like, we can do anything we want with roof, really. We can, like, once it's up there, as long as it's actually uh, placed above and stuff, then the game will see it as being a roof that functions and stuff. So we could, if we wanted to, like, get more of the stuff, we could overlap it using the shift keys and stuff like that. Whether we'd want to, what we'd do with that, I don't know. We could put beams in between it and stuff if we wanted to for extra decoration or whatever. So, yeah, j just food for thought. That's all. Oh no, my hammer broke. Hmm. We'll try out um, this design over a larger area. See how that's going. And if that is not quite it, we'll try a few other things. Make a roof out of beehives? No. Have you seen? <laughs> have you seen the size of that thing? Not a chance. We'd be here until the cows come home and went back again. <laughs> I should make it out of Yagwoof heads. We'll just do that as the roof. That'll look cool. <laughs> Alrighty. You are trying to get me to stream for way too long, Tatiana, with, with ideas like that. I know your, uh, I know your game. They won't give you shelter like beef rice. <laughs> All right, smarty pants. The probably, I wonder what would be easier to get though. In those types of numbers, because there's only so many bees in the game, and you can't get more. Yagluth, you can get theoretically an unlimited amount of. Alright, this is going to need scaffolding. Oh, um, you know, supports and stuff put up. Although, once it connects to the end bit there, we might get a bit more juice out of it. I think from the inside, this is going to look nice, guys, by the way. 
I think the inside, this looks nicer than the other one. Um, you know, oh, if I can place it right, it'll look even better. There we go. But yeah, um, look at these like, beams running here. It's a reasonably flat roof, right? Kind of modern. Now, we want to see how this is going to look from all angles, though. So, like, out here. Looks like rafters. Yeah, exactly. That's how it's going to look from the front. Which makes me want to cry a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, that is not a sexy look. Even if it's all like it, which I think would look better because it's just this little bit that's kind of weird. It's still not overly sexy, but can we kind of hide it? Ooh, idea. We could kind of hide... Oh, jeez, that scared the heck out of me for some reason. I'm jumpy tonight, man. What am I... What is wrong with me? I think we hide it with this. Right? So it would just look like... Come on now. It would just look like that. Right? That's how that is going to look then. I know we could even do this side as well. Um, in fact, we, we definitely should do this side if we're going to go down this roof. And it would just look like a nice flat roof, right? So from here, you won't see it, right? From the corner. That's what you'll see. Um, so that's definitely... X's look cool. It'd have to be uh, these ones, right? So let's try that out. Like... Uh, like this. It doesn't look bad, but I'm not sure which one looks more modern. The X's or just flat. I think flat might look more modern. What do you guys think? X's or flat? Which one looks more modern? That's the question. Alright. So now... The next question... Flat is more modern. Yeah, trying to, Tatiana. Um, that's the idea with these like abstract kind of windows and things. The stone build. And then the inside decoration hopefully will be like that too. Talking about the inside, we could do with getting some supports up here. You reckon go flat? Once you go flat, you don't go back? Is that is that the modern philosophy of Valheim? I think so too, though, to be fair. So let's get rid of this a sec. Um, just in case I don't finish this tonight, which is highly likely because it's getting kind of late here. Getting a bit sleepy. The only thing we could do if we wanted to would be like this. Mm, nah. Flat is. Pancake esque. Nah, you're all good. Not a problem. Uh, all this stuff is a different color at the moment. That's the only annoying thing. But it won't be for long. In fact, it will be a different color because it's not under a roof. So if we were to repair this stuff... Actually, none of that is protected by the roof. So it will all be weathered on the outside. But then these will be this color. Which I kind of like, actually. Kind of gives it a trim. But we might need to like take some of these off to unprotect those. I don't know. That, that, that be advanced stuff. We'll figure that out. For now, structurally sound is what we're going to be about. So let's get some stone. And see about supports and things like that. Because there's going to need to be some. Uh, right, stone. Something here. Wait. Or is it in the cart? Maybe. I think it is in here, is it? If we have some, it'll actually be in our cart. There we go. So. We're going to need these. I think it was stone pillars for support. Would be the way to go. Um, I reckon... Look, one, two, three, four. On the fifth one, do this. We'll make it a four by four thick stone pillar like this. Uh, no worries, Satiana. When are you going to be streaming? I might be able to raid you. Um, let's get what's going on here. Oh, boo. Okay, no worries. Well, if I'm still streaming when you're about to, let me know. And I will come 
and rage. Um, like post my picks. All oh, right, yeah, for the competition. Um, Majuli Suk, is that is that right? I don't know if I said your name right there. Probably not. Apologies for that. But thank you very much for the follow. Um, so with this up here, roof be happy. Do roof be happy the whole way. See that edge? Yes, you'd hope so. Should go do these infills. Right. My goodness, that's <laughs> You need to learn when to uh, when to log off. <laughs> but hey, I, uh, I I get it. <laughs> I really do. All right. And so we'll mirror this particular beam here over on this far side over here. And this side is going to be a bit different. The door is not centered. That was done on purpose. Um, so we'll need to play this bit by you. If I put a floor on top, I have flat roof. Well, I was kind of thinking two things along that. One, we could put a floor up here. Uh, like, somewhere like there to hide that and have a flat roof from the inside if we wanted to. Don't know how I feel about it structurally and stuff. I don't know how that's going to work out. We'd have to check and stuff. But it's, yeah. That's possible. Uh, and then, yeah, the other thing is, which I think is what you were saying, is you could put floor like... Let me just build up how many wood. I'm just going to get some wood. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Tatiana. That's fair enough. And, you know, you certainly got a good result out of it because your build does look amazing. I was looking at it earlier. Um, some really good entries in this competition. But, uh, yeah, no, yours was looking very cool. It's going to be uh, interesting to see who you guys pick as the winner. It's a tough call, that's for sure. So far, everyone, well, last time I checked, at least, everyone was even. Everyone had voted for everyone. I was like, okay, guys. It's, it's all very nice, but come on, we need winners here. Uh, yeah, so I could floor up here. I could put floor there to hide the roof. Right? If I, if I want to. Actually, do you know what? I'm kind of liking this. What do you guys think? I think that could be... It's, it's going to get discolored and stuff, and it'll go down to the 50% durability. But it would nicely hide the roof. You know, and it's definitely more modern looking. And we keep the functionality inside of having an actual roof, right? With the aesthetic of not. If we combine that with this, we just sort of sandwich that roof in between. Like, if we just, for a second, pretend, you know, that's, that's what's happening, right? We just go for this. Yeah, this is the look you'd have inside. Very modern looking. Flat roof with no sign of straw. No sign of any sort of V-shapes, right? It would be like this the whole way through. A lot of wood. Some definite design challenges, support challenges and stuff, I'd imagine. But could be very, very good. Would it support stone blocks? I'd imagine not. Um, like... Let me get to the stone cut. I give myself a fighting chance here. Um, yeah. No, unfortunately not. I didn't think so. Um, but this would be very modern. Also, now it's at the exact level of this. Rim around the outside. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Yeah, true, Tatiana. That would be nice. we got to work within the constraints of the game. And so we're trying to go as modern as we can achieve. Um, you know, with the current Valheim thing, without modding and stuff. And and I think we're, we're getting something close to it. We're going to need to chop down some forests. I can feel a few woodcutting streams coming on here. Um, but again, not a problem. Because this is going to be a wood intensive... Because we're basically building three roofs, right? But the actual roof, which is like obviously this stuff, then we've got the false ceiling, <laughs> which is this stuff, and the false on top, which is the you know 
up here stuff, right? All of this stuff. <laughs> so this going to be an interesting look. Um, building this roof might get us to the Hearth and Home update. <laughs> it'll, it will be durable, yep. Yeah. When trolls and stuff come and knock it down. Or whatever, it will be durable. I like the, I like the thought. I like the big build idea. Um, I like big build projects like this. I like the challenge of making this modern. And I think, you know, this is this is only the first bit. Then it's all the decoration and the windows and doors, interior rooms. So one thing, most people in Valheim, when they're building, myself included up until this time, you know, it's just like once you're in your house, it's like everything's all open plan and stuff, right? Actually, maybe not most people, but uh, me, I think I'm talking personally. But what I think with this one is it might be nice to have some actual rooms and try and make them look modern, some modern walls and stuff like that. What I need to do first is this, which is to get all the supports done, right? So it's all held up and it's not falling on the floor. When that's done, then we can look at how we connect up with rooms and stuff. Um, cross the beams. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if we got rid of like that bit of floor there, and instead of going that way, it went that way. Hmm. I think this looks good. What? Oh, where's my wood gone? Must be stuck up there somewhere. Uh, I think it looks good like this, though. Um, we got these... Because it always looks like support beams holding the roof up. Which I think looks more realistic, right? Because a lot of roofs I've seen, you do have those type of support beams and things. But it would go. What is, what is this? What kind of witchcraft is this? Bizarre. There's a wood up there somewhere. It won't come back to us. All right. We'll have to go get some more. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I think them all going the same direction is probably the best bet there. Um, are we really like? How much wood is it for a floor? Two. We're one wood short. What is the world coming to? Let's go put that back. That might be all the wood we have though now. Yeah, I think this is the way, though. Um, I don't think I have any wood in this car. We got, we are surrounded by forest, as you can see, so we can get some wood. Uh, it's not too much of an issue. Wait, is that now? Uh, yeah, empty. We'll go and get Ike for... Uh, sorry, the Elder. To activate that, we'll do a lot of chopping. And we'll get a lot of wood without too much bother. Should be nice. Um, that's in case I run into trouble. But yeah, you can see here, like, we are out of, uh, of normal wood. We got a little bit of fine wood. Which, uh, which might come in handy later, but is isn't overly useful now. So let's go back and, uh, get the Elder activated. Take our cart on another adventure. Uh, so we need to go right the way back to start time, actually. Uh, and it is up this way. I love our little start town. It's a pretty little town. Very nice. Um, okay, so it's up in here. Uh, tribute, there we go. This is not the greatest portal in the world. This is just a tribute. Any Tenacious D fans out there? I, uh, I'm a big fan myself. Honestly, if I could have anyone's singing voice, it would be Jack Black's. He has got... Uh, what are you... Anyway. Damn, Hoojin. Um, yeah, Jack Black, in my opinion, has the best voice of any singer. Like His vocal range, he can go super high, super low... And he's got such a rock and roll voice. I love it. Um, yeah, I think he's just... I just really think he's great. Big big fan of his uh, his singing voice. <laughs> so that'd be, that'd be my choice. And I like that his band... Um, yeah, they do like... Funny songs and stuff as well. 
Uh, yeah, not taking it all too seriously and stuff. It's great. I actually quite like him in movies and stuff as well. Gulliver's Travels is good. Um, School of Rock, right? It's a classic. Everybody loves that one. Um, what else have I seen him in? I know he's in a lot more. Oh, um, is it 10,000 BC or something like that. You guys know that movie, the one I'm on about? That's a good one. Uh, obviously, the Tenacious D movie <laughs> is is very funny. I've not seen that Chili Break. Yeah, I, you know how I've not seen any movies that everyone else has seen? Year one, thank you, Asim, that's the one. Tropic Thunder, yes, great shout, great movie. Very, very good movie. Uh, good good, like, good like idea for a movie. I love at the start with Ben Stiller is the action hero and um, they're talking about his upcoming movie and they show the trailer for it. It's like, and how he saved the world. It's like, no one thought he could do it seven more times. I'm like, there's so much like, so much truth in there for like the modern day action movies that have just gone ridiculously silly. But um, yeah, no, great movie. Yeah. Some good, good movie suggestions. Now, do I want a little forest behind my house? Yeah, I don't know if I want to chop these trees down. I'm a little forest here, a bit of aesthetic. I think I do. Uh, this one here, though, could kind of, uh, you know, might look better elsewhere. Uh, that was good. I don't know what I was hoping would happen there. All right, let's try and take down, like, these this little stump here. All right, and this here. I didn't want it to knock other trees down, but it has. I know I can replant, but it's a bit of a faff. I'm going to activate my elder later as well, by the way, uh, once we're out getting the proper wood. This is just trying to tidy up our forest. i got a feeling this is going to turn into like I'm just going to keep knocking down trees inadvertently. Like that. And like that. And like that. What the heck? So yeah, we can replant trees. Oh, it's falling all over my house. Ah. Oh, now there's one of these dudes here. This is chaos. Right. Okay. Plan B. We chop all this stuff. <laughs> Still won't be here that long compared to the other place, so... There must be someone on here right now who's not in chat and is not sleeping at night time. I wonder who's on. Someone be trolling me. That's what I think. Alright. So we'll leave some of these prosthetics. Chop these ones here down. Did anything here get incredibly badly damaged? That one kind of... If it's lower than 50%, this is the thing, right? We need to, like, try and sort it out. Oh. Oh, I just had an idea, guys. So, if we wanted to, we can protect the entire outer wall here, right? And what we do is we continue our sandwich design. But we just bring it out one. So... It would look like this. Well, hang on, let's just snap there. Then just go down a bit like that. Right, I'm just uh just bear with me here, guys. I'm just wonder if there might be something in this. Doing this though, all of this would be protected. The only thing that wouldn't be protected would be the roof. If it was the whole way around. I hate it. Ah, forget it. <laughs> I've just I know how this is going to go, and I'm like, this is all going to be different colors and stuff, right? It's going to be a bit of a pain. And, like, you know when stuff breaks and it's like, um, let's see if I can find an example of some of this stuff here. Yeah, like, see how that's, like, it's all, like, janky, right? Whereas when you repair it, it's all nice and straight and stuff, which would look more modern. I don't know. Food for thought. We'll have a consideration of it. But that idea I just had there was not the... That ain't the way forward. I don't know what the way forward is, but it ain't that. I know what it isn't, at least. Alright, so we're still trying to take down just these few little trees here that are spoiling our atmosphere. 
That is the hardest stump in the world, I think. Stop hitting my tree. I don't want you to cut down other tree. So that one there, which sit on this little log here. Nope, don't hit anything else, just that log. Thank you. Uh-huh. Alright, cool. Forest is looking good. We're safe. I think I've got materials on me to build a cart, minus the workbench. So we're good. Hydrate, thank you, Wargos. All right, guys. Well, um, my next step here is to do a heck of a lot of wood cutting, which ain't super exciting, and it's 1 a.m. for me, which makes it even less exciting. So I am going to end the stream there. Uh, we are going to go raid somebody, as we do. Um, Tatiana, I take it you're not streaming just yet, and it will have to be somebody else uh, besides your lovely self. Thank you all for coming tonight. It's been a really fun stream, trying out the new Stream Deck stuff um, and uh, and doing a bit of building and hanging out and all that good stuff that we always do on the streams. Um, so yeah, thank you all very much for that. Apologies, Tatiana. I, uh, I'll, I'll get you next time I can. But uh, we'll, we'll find someone who uh, who's not got any viewers and stuff and we'll raid them. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys soon for another stream. And uh, some more fun with the stream deck and that, I'm sure, as I get better acquainted with it. Let's see who I can find. And uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, evening, whatever it is for you, wherever you may be. Let's see who we can find. This person says chill vibes for everyone. That sounds pretty good. Let's be Vikings and talk D&D. &D. I know a few people in my community like D&D. This could be the right person for us. Um, are they live right now? Oh, I think I just got them on an ad. They've been live for a couple of hours for one person. I think this could be a good person to raid. Um, once this blooming advert finishes. Twitch adverts when you click on. So annoying. Uh, so yeah, apologies. We'll, we'll raid this person now. Uh, enjoy the raid. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you again for being here and making it awesome as you always do. Wish you all good vibes, good times. And I hope to see you all again soon, guys. Oh, I can't pick up anymore. Alright, that's it. Holy crap, what the hell? Whoa, guys.